Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check, stations. Sports Network from Learfield. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, brought to you by Bud Light. It's for the fans. High V, the official grocer partner of Iowa Hawkeyes basketball. High V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. The Iowa Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, who reminds you to click it or ticket, day or night. University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank, life keeps moving. We are here for every step. U.S. Bank, member FDIC. And by Authentic Brand. Look authentic, feel authentic, be authentic. Get your game day gear online at Authentic-Brand.com. Now to courtside. This is the NCAA Tournament. Here's Rob Brooks and Jamie Lang. Hard to believe that it's been uh, since the 27th of February since the Iowa Hawkeyes cut down the Nets in Indianapolis and won the uh, regular, well, cut down the Nets in Iowa City and won the Big Ten regular season title. And then the 6th of March did it again in Indianapolis, winning the Big Ten tournament title over Indiana 74 to 67. And now it's time for NCAA tournament basketball as the Iowa Hawkeyes, the number two seed, it's set to take on Illinois State, the number 15 seed. I'm Rob Brooks, courtside, along with Jamie K.B. Lang. And the winner of this game will face Creighton as the Blue Jays defeated Colorado just moments ago, 84-74, to in a back-and-forth contest that really Creighton controlled most of the way. And every time that Colorado was able to make a run, pull to within a couple of possessions, Creighton was able to to handle it down the stretch, made its free throws, and will move on to Sunday's second round game. But for the Hawkeyes, Jamie, it's been seven in a row. Of course, the Big Ten regular season championship, the Big Ten tournament title, and now the quest begins in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I... That's a lot of a lot of games in a row. A lot of uh, 
a lot of back-to-back -back games for the Hawkeyes. And normally, I think like that break can hurt the Hawkeyes, but this is actually one of the times where I think it was really beneficial to have that full week off because they had a chance to get over the hype. And I do think they had a chance to then, okay, let's move on past that. We got to celebrate it. And then they moved forward towards NCAAs. And I do think that that, that week, actually, this is probably one of the few times where I think it really benefited them. And we'll uh, talk to Coach Bluter here in a little bit, but um, listening to her comments this week and also that of the players, uh, they are ready to go. The, the break is over, and of course, with a sold-out Carver Hawkeye Arena here, uh, people still uh, filtering in, finding their seats, uh, really busy outside in the parking lots, and uh, people are obviously uh, really hyped about this basketball team, but watching the Hawkeyes run out on the court, uh, all smiles, oh, yeah. and you can tell the nation's leading scorer is ready for this. You can, I mean, they would have been fine not having the break, but mentally I think it was good for them, but I can remember being a player, and you know, it's kind of like when the groundhog sees a shadow and says six more weeks of one, and you're like, no! I feel like that's probably how they are. You just want to get there, and you want to start going for this NCAA tournament. Uh, and the crowd is amazing. They have already packed it in here. Uh, it was very hard parking to get here, but I, I think that everybody would probably agree that it's worth it because this is some good basketball, and this is where Iowa, I think, they could really just start to make a name for themselves. But as you watch uh, tournaments uh, every single oh, year, yeah. you have to be careful, and you can't overlook anybody. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were here in uh, 2019, Iowa faced Mercer yeah. in the first round, and Mercer gave Iowa all it could handle <laughs> and survived that first round. Also won the uh, second round en route to an Elite Eight down in Greensboro, North Carolina. We certainly like to get back there, but first things first, and we go look at the an Illinois State team that... Um, was not playing real good basketball uh, coming down the stretch of the regular season. It's been a lot of uh, streaks for Illinois State this year. They lost their last four games of yeah. uh, the regular season, including a game at uh, UNI in the McLeod Center, 70-63, but then rolled off four in a row in the Valley Tournament in Moline and defeated UNI 50-48 in the championship game. And here they are. So yeah. they've got to feel real good about uh, the way they're playing and say, hey, this is kind of a, a new lease on life. Right. Let's go out and see what can happen. Man, those are that's the scary part of the Big Ten or the NCAA tournament is everyone knows this is it, right? Only one person gets to end the season on a win if you're in the NCAA tournament. And every other person is going to lose. And so every other team is going to lose. And so every team is going to come out and give it their all. And that's Iowa's job here is to realize when that starts happening, to take control of the situation and then not let them see any daylight. That is their job as a team. Hawkeyes out on the court, warming up the basket to our left and the Redbirds of Illinois State, uh, the basket to our right representing the Missouri Valley Conference. As we mentioned, uh, four in a row in uh, Moline at the Valley Tournament to get to this point. Took care of Bradley, 62-53. Uh, Loyola, 68-52. Southern Illinois, which uh, really was probably the favorite in that tournament, 50-42. to And then the third seeded UNI Panthers, 50-48. to So defeated the fifth seed, the one seed, and the three seed. And now this afternoon, we'll face the Iowa Hawkeyes. The first game between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Colorado Buffaloes won by Creighton by 10, 84 to 74. Uh, went a little long, so we will not start at 3 o'clock. It'll be a little bit after, maybe between 3.05 and 3.10. And Jamie, that Creighton uh, Blue Jay team, of course, uh, knows Iowa very, very well. They do. And Rachel Saunders, who prepped at Iowa City West, uh, played a prominent role on that team. And then uh, Lauren Jensen, who started her basketball career here at Iowa, now a sophomore from Lakeville, Minnesota, also on that Creighton roster. Right. They, I mean, they are 
They're going to be a force for Iowa, but I think Iowa can easily, I think they can definitely handle it. I think it's a team, the type of team they played against all season. They're ready for it. And like you said, though, they got to make sure that they take down the Redbirds first. And I don't think Iowa is going to overlook this team at all. I really don't. And I, I think that this is going to be what you hope is almost like an appetizer to the next game, right? You want this to be something where they come out, they get things going right away, they look really good but they don't have to go all in so they can take a little bit of a break. That's probably Iowa's goal. Yes, win, but let's win in a nice, clean fashion. Let's get out there. Illinois State 19 and 13 overall. Uh, their best player is Juju Redman, a uh, senior at 5'11". She was first team all MVC, averaged over 18 points uh, per ball game and is on pace to lead the Valley in scoring from Chicago out of uh, Tallahassee Community College. So there's an experienced guard mm -hmm. that uh, can play with about anybody. Oh, wow, yeah. I think they definitely have the ability to score. I mean, Redmond is great. A really fabulous offensive player. And down low, they have a little bit of height. I wouldn't say that it's a height that I would supersede Iowa's by any means, but Iowa, I think, still needs to make sure they're boxing out. They're not allowing the second chance opportunities because Redmond, she doesn't shoot as effectively as the as Iowa shoots. So there's going to be misses and Iowa has to make sure and not allow them to get those second chance opportunities. Yeah, Iowa, of course, uh, likes to get up and down, play in the 80s, averaging 84 and a half points per game. Illinois State, 65.7 on the year, but it's a very good three-point shooting team at just about 35% and do a decent job from the field as well at 44.4 percent so a team that can get hot has uh, capable outside shooters and one of them uh, from right here in iowa city as uh, iowa city's regina Mar mary crompton averages uh, over 10 points a game has 71 made threes this year and is regina's all-time leader in three points made and percentage mm -hmm. and a player like that uh, it's interesting to see if she puts a lot of pressure on herself or hey right. this is an opportunity to showcase my skills in the arena she's probably been in several times exactly that that's the thing you never know right when anybody comes home to their hometown you either have the game of your life or you have one of your worst games of your life and that's really kind of the you don't usually get the in between where you're like hey it was okay it's like hey not good or wow i really played it i played it well i did everything that i wanted to do when i was out there and it could with nerves though that's the thing with athletes sometimes nerves affect people in different ways. nerves sometimes make people perform out of their mind and then sometimes it makes them perform like they've never played basketball before and jamie too over 15,000 people in this arena this afternoon iowa's played in front of big crowds of course uh, the sellout at the end of the year against michigan played very very well illinois state has not uh, played in front of this many people no they definitely haven't played in front of this many people and that'll be something for iowa to know going forward is that this is i mean this is an advantage they have having this fan base is going to be a huge advantage for them today no doubt about that. We will continue to break down Iowa and Illinois State. Iowa, the number two seed, Illinois State at 15. The Big Ten champs against the Valley champs. We'll be back with more pregame from Carver Hawkeye Arena. It's the first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Iowa, we grow corn, a lot of corn. We love seeing our farmers in the fields, and although they're perfect strangers, we know them. We know them by their equipment covered in dust. We know them by their work ethic, where days off don't exist. We know them by the way they wave, passing strangers alike on a two-lane road. We know them in the midst of our kitchen as we prepare another family meal. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. The Iowa corn farmers are proud to be on the sidelines for the Iowa Hawkeyes. You know when your internet works, your life works. Living with unreliable internet or slow speeds is a hassle you can't afford. Hawk fans, don't settle for subpar service. Get extreme internet and transform your whole home. With Extreme powered by Mediacom, you can enjoy speeds from 60 meg up to an incredible 1 gig, intelligent whole home Wi-Fi, and unbeatable reliability. You want great internet at a great price? Give us a call at 844-4FASTER and talk to the Extreme Internet Pros today. Speeds may vary and a monthly data usage allowance applies. 
sports fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network, now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime. Welcome back courtside, Carver Hawkeye Arena as the Iowa Hawkeyes get set to face the Redbirds of Illinois State, winners of the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament in Moline as the winner of this game will take on the Creighton Blue Jays with a solid victory over Colorado, 84 to 74 that game on Sunday and no time has been set and won't be certainly till after probably all of the action tonight for sure. Hawkeyes back in the locker room. Illinois State uh, continuing to warm up as the fans can continue to find their seats and this will be another electric atmosphere like we have had so many times really uh, the last several years but in particular that Michigan game to close out the regular season and gave the Hawkeyes a share of the Big Ten regular season title at 104 to 80 as the Hawkeyes come back out on the floor. Starting lineups expected today for Illinois State. We've talked about Mary Crompton from Iowa City, Regina in her junior year. Goes at five foot eight and has hit 71 three-pointers this season. Maya Wong at 15 against uh, you and I. Just about doubled what she normally does throughout the year. 7.8 in conference play, 8.6 overall. First team MVC performer. Juju Redmond at 5 foot 11 out of Chicago averaging 18.5 on the season and 17.6 in conference play at 21 against the Panthers in the MVC title game. Deanne Wilson, a 6'2 junior averaging 13.1, 13.6 in conference play and Kate Bullman, a 6 foot 2 Sophomore, terrific rebounder, averaging 6.8 in conference play, 6.1 for the entire season. Hawkeyes, regular starting five, Kate Martin, who had such a terrific Big Ten tournament, at 14 in the championship game against Indiana. McKenna Warnock, averaging 11.4 and 6.6 rebounds. Monica Sonano. First team all Big Ten at 21 and 6. And first team All American Caitlin Clark, nation's leading scorer, also leads the country in total assists. Clark at 27.4, 8.1 boards, and 7.9 assists. And Gabby Marshall averaging 6.6. And Gabby, a terrific three-point shooter at 39%. Free throws just under 75%. Both teams back out, warming up. We were about uh, six, seven minutes away from tip. Iowa and Illinois State first round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. It's ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celsius here. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two mangoes. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. 
When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Check out Bump's Restaurant, located on Melrose Avenue in Iowa City, inside the new Nagel Family Clubhouse at Finkbine Golf Course. We use fresh whole ingredients and scratch cooking in all of our dishes. Come enjoy a blackberry avocado salad, our famous pork tenderloin, or maybe our signature Kinnick Burger with a side of our fresh hand-cut french fries. And don't forget to try our legendary Mary and handcrafted cocktails. Reservations are encouraged. Make yours today by calling 319-335-9662. Bump's Restaurant, legendary man, legendary food. Keep yourself and your loved ones healthy by getting your free COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, when you get a COVID-19 vaccine at your Hy-Vee Pharmacy between February 1st and April 30th, you can get a 50 cent Hy-Vee Fuel Saver reward. Talk about savings. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccination appointment today at hyvee.com slash COVID vaccine. Some restrictions apply. See pharmacy for more details. Starting lineups will be introduced in a little bit over two minutes as we head to the Iowa locker room. Jamie has Coach Lisa Bluter for her pregame comments. And I'm here with Coach Bluter as they enter the first round of the NCAA tournament against the Illinois State Redbirds. Okay, Coach, I'm just going to let you start talking about this game today. No, I mean, if for us, it's just a situation where we're coming off a really good sequence where we won seven games in a row, and now we have this two-week hiatus, and so you really just want to make sure that your team doesn't come out here a rusty, be jittery in front of this great crowd of Hawkeye fans that we have. Maybe the first five minutes might be take a little time, but then we will settle down. I am sure of it. Illinois State kind of uh, hangs their hat on defense. Um, they're a team that uh, has a very good um, small forward in Juju Redmond, um, excellent player, all Missouri Valley Conference player. Also, their center, Deanna Wilson, was also an all Missouri Valley Conference player. So Iowa today, what do you think is going to be the main focus? Is it Redmond? Is it something specific in their office that you're going to look at? Well, for us, it's to me, we can push on them. We need to get out and run. We need to get the ball inside. I mean, Monica is truly one of the best posts in America's evidence this week. She was just named honorable mention, all American, top 15 players in the country. So she needs to go inside. And I know they're going to bring a double at her. We got to be able to handle that. Uh, and for us, you know, it's really kind of handling their ball screen defense so that we don't give up spot up threes. We want to make them take hard twos. And then you were just talking about the main thing, though, right? It's that little break that you just had and getting them mentally prepared. So how do you think they're looking? Well, I feel like in practice, we've been really sharp. I feel like they've kept their focus. They've kept their intensity. Um, so I think they're ready to go. And it just really kind of at, yesterday was like chomping at the bit, wanting to get back out there. You seem like you're ready. To I'm go. ready to go. All right. Well, we'll go and we'll start this game. Thanks, Let's Coach. Go, and Jamie, thank you very much. That has been the Hy-Vee Shoot Around with Lisa Bluter, brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Score big savings at hyveedeals.com. Jamie will be along for her keys to a Hawkeye victory after the break. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. <laughs> 
Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. It's a new season. Get ready for more men's and women's college sports excellence. Trophies will be awarded in June to schools who take the top spot in the 2021-22 Learfield Directors' Cup. The premier award recognizes one winning institution in all competitive divisions. Follow your favorite team's progress as seasonal standings are announced at L Directors' Cup on Twitter and online at directorscup.org. The crowning achievement in college athletics. Starting lineups being introduced. The Redbirds of Illinois State do have three players from the state of Iowa on its roster. Of course, we've talked about Mary Crofton out of Iowa City, Regina, as she'll be a starter. Lexi Kadelka out of Nevada is a uh, senior. And then also from Dowling Catholic in Des Moines, Lexi Bowles, a six foot three freshman. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Well, Jamie, as you talked to Coach Bluter about a terrific atmosphere, everybody was certainly uh, ready for this uh, 305 tip, and it will be interesting to watch the first five or six minutes to see how Iowa flows, especially at the offensive end. Right, and either way, I think that Iowa has been preparing all season for this. I don't think they've always came out on fire in the first quarter, but they figured out what to do if they're not. If they're not hitting or if someone's not hitting here, or this isn't going well for them. Uh, Iowa does a decent job of regrouping, so you got to think that that's something that they're still going to be able to do pretty easily, is regroup um, if they, even if they don't start out the way they want. Additionally today, what I'll throw out there is they're, they're seeing some refs. These are refs that I've never seen, um, which is totally fine. But also Iowa has to realize they're going to have to adjust to that. However, those refs are if they're guard, if they're calling things uh, pretty t you know touchy, or are they letting people play? And all those types of things are things that are new in the NCAA tournament because up till now they have mostly seen the, seen the same set of refs, same style of refs throughout the season. So that is something to think about as I'm, I just saw the rest come out on the court, but they're definitely three people I've never seen um, Iowa have. Kristen Gillespie is the head coach of the Redbirds of Illinois State. They've done a terrific job rebuilding this program that has not been in the NCAA tournament since 2008 and has a uh, head coaching career record of 192 and 125, 87 and 60 at Illinois State. Monica Sonato in the middle and the tap with Bowman and controlled by the Redbirds left to right in front of us courtside here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. A sold out Carver Hawkeye Arena for the second consecutive game. Redmond gets into the paint, turnaround 10 foot jump shots and air ball and the ball bounces on the floor dug up by McKenna Warnock. Hawkeyes quickly in transition, gold uniforms that we've been accustomed to seeing with the script Black Iowa across the front. Here's Marshall, free throw line extended right. Hawks working the ball around the arc. Now the handoff to Clark. Bullman comes out on her. Clark drives right, fakes a 15-footer, now takes it and splashes it home from the right wing. Making a step back look easy right there. Clark gets the Hawkeyes on the board, two to nothing. Here's Redmond in the paint. Bounce pass inside, left-handed layup is up and good by Deanna Wilson. Here's Clark, three-pointer left wing, rolls all the way around the rim, falls out, dug up by Bullman. Illinois State in transition. Here's Bullman, feeds left side, Redmond being defended by Kate Martin. She always draws the toughest assignment. Here's Bullman, slips the ball to Mary Compton, outstanding three-point shooter. 
Clark on her, gets a screen, pulls up from 15, gets it to go. Compton with a basket, and Illinois State up 4-2. to two. Just underway, first round of the NCAA tournament, and a three-pointer off the mark, top of the key by McKenna Warnock. Hawks really need McKenna to heat up in this tournament. Here's Bullman. Crompton, free throw line extended right, dribbles the ball to the top of the key, slips it off to Redmond left side, fakes a three, but prefers to drive. And a whistle. And a foul will be called on Iowa away from the ball. Kate Martin, her first, team's first. Ball possession for the Redbirds underneath. Four to two, Illinois State with the lead in the basketball. Gets a pass inside, Bullman goes to the left hand, no. Hawks all over the rebounds. And Martin gets it to head to Caitlin Clark. Now back to Kate, fakes a three, drives paint, kicks it left side, Gabby Marshall three-pointer is short. Long rebound, right into the hands of Mary Crompton. Here's Wong, finds an opening, puts the right-handed layup up and no good. High archer off the window, came off the front of the iron. Marshall. Down to McKenna Warnock. She'll fire a three-pointer left wing. Rimming no. Off the right side of the iron. And the Hawks start cold after the mid-range jumper by Clark. Yeah, one for five cold. Illinois State with the ball. Reverses it to the right side. Crompton. Now will fire a three-pointer and drill it from the top of the key. And that's... The scouting report on her, that's right. what she can do. And like we said, this could be a game where she has the game of her life. And so Iowa just has to, you have to be aware of those types of things. That's where these, the things that don't come on the scouting report, right? The, the numbers that you see on her, what she's done so far this year. Inside Sonano. As Wilson went down. So no shot. And a displacement foul will be called on Wilson. Her first and the team's first. And you got a little nervous there thinking they were going to call a charge call on Monica, but that's just them fighting down low, and she obviously fouled Monica before anything happened. So the Hawks will inbounds the ball. Sonato back to Clark. 7-2 to two in favor of Illinois State. Inside Sonato, right block, takes one dribble, kicks it left side. Warnock fakes a three, now spins, gets into the paint, shot is up and short, goes after the rebound, digs it up, and now is triple teamed along the baseline, and the ball stolen away. Redbirds in transition. Here's Redmond, left wing, picks it out to Wong. Now she'll drive hard the right side of the lane, and a foul will be whistled on Gabby Marshall before the shot. And Gabby had a tough time guarding the perimeter in the Big Ten tournament. Players were uh, getting to the basket on her. Yep, she's, got, she's just a, a half step, step behind. And a whistle. Must have been a moving screen. And that'll go against Illinois State. And Iowa on the offensive end, Iowa just needs to move the ball a little bit more, I think, if they're not getting their fast break right now. Move the ball around, get a reversal. Warnock, top of the key, Warnock. long two. McKenna Warnock, shoot it from the top of the key. I was going to say that. I was going to add that piece. And she's been left <laughs> wide open Yes. early on in this game and has not been afraid to shoot and finally gets one to go. Seven to four as Redmond gets in the paint and little spin move. And she's going to shoot a lot. I wish she shoots probably a third of their shots, I think. Here's Clark along the baseline. And contact with Bowman. And a foul will be called on the 6'2 sophomore, Kate Bowman. So the way that they're playing defense on Clark right now is they're getting really far out there on her, but just with a couple of cuts, she can get open. They're not the best at denial pressure. Tommy Taiwo comes into the game. Sonato gets the ball in the paint. Kicks it out to Marshall. Now Clark for three. Yep. Got it from the left wing. Beaut. That's a beaut there. Five for Clark. That gets the crowd into it. Nine to seven in favor of Illinois State. 5.38 left to go first quarter. Redbirds with the basketball. Compton, pump fake. Now fires a three-pointer and splashes it home from the left wing. Got Caitlin Clark in the air. Compton came to play. Already hit. She's two for two from the three-point line. And has eight points already. Mary Crompton 
a junior from Iowa City, Regina. Inside, Sonano feeds right side, Clark. And now to Gabby Marshall. Right wing, three-pointer, left wide open. For the most part, they're only guarding Clark at the three-point line. Most everyone else, is, they're giving some space there. Gabby's first basket, and it's 12 to 10 in favor of the Redbirds. Here's Redmond on the move. Scoop layup off the glass is no good. And Sonano the rebound. Taiwo across the timeline. Clark now to Warnock, wide open yes. underneath. Left handed layup, good. It was like Clark was playing chess right there. She was like, give me the ball, because you could tell that she saw something already ahead. And it was McKenna Warnock, wide open underneath. Now some good flow on yes. offense. Yes. We're tied at 12. Redmond from 15, the free throw line, and she is fouled in the active shooting by McKenna Warnock. And Iowa just had four of their last four shots, so just shot a lot better, a lot better selection. And timeout on the court. Today's broadcast of NCAA tournament action on the Hawkeye Radio Network is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless with a nationwide network built from your hometown. 429 left to go in the first. It is Iowa 12 and Illinois State 12. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Today's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Hawkeye Radio Network is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless with a nationwide network built from your town up. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. There's a sense of pride that comes from the life of a farmer. How many people can say they have a famous tan named after them or be known for their wave when they drive past neighbors and strangers alike on a two-lane road? Whether it's a farmer's tan or the farmer's wave, we are proud to be known for a lot of things. We feel that pride every night at the dinner table, knowing we feed our family and yours. Iowa Corn is proud to be on the sidelines cheering on the Iowa Hawkeyes. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. From Learfield, this is the NCAA Tournament. Hawkeyes connect on four of their last four from the field, and we're tied at 12 with 4.29 left to go in the first quarter. This broadcast of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Clark with five, Warnock four, and Gabby Marshall a three-pointer as well. Mary Crompton for Illinois State has started hot. Uh, she is three for three, two for two from behind the arc and has eight of the 12 Redbird points. So Redmond was fouled on a 15-foot jumper from the free throw line. So she will get two, and the first one is good. Martin back for the Hawkeyes. Taiwo stays. Warnock sits down. Redmond had 21 against the Northern Iowa Panthers in the MVC title game. This one a little bit deep and into the hands of Monica Sonano. Held the ball high and then dropped it off for Caitlin Clark, who will walk it across the timeline in a 12-12 game. Redmond now out on Clark. 
Kate Martin, free throw line extended right, cross court pass to Marshall. Not a Taiwo, just left to the top of the key. She drives hard, the left side, and traveling will be called on Tomi Taiwo. Looked like she just lost her footing. Yeah, definitely just lost her footing. No foul or anything committed there. I, I think on the defensive end right now, just needs to try to make Illinois work harder for shots. They're getting their shots a little too easy. So getting out there, getting your hands up, just simple little things right now will change their defense. Newland in the game for Illinois State. Redmond directing traffic in between the circles. Now feeds to Wong. Now back to Redmond. She'll fire for three left wing no. And Clark the rebound. Crosses the timeline, 13 to 12 in favor of the Redbirds. Gets a pass in the corner, Gabby Marshall Beautiful. hits the three-pointer. And Marshall, so smart right there. She moved to a position where she had a better pass from Clark, and also it made it harder for her defense to find her. So good work between the two of them. Hawks now five, uh, the last five from the floor, and lead it by two, 15-13. 3.20 left to go first quarter. Redmond, left wing, outside of the paint. Now top of the key, Wong for three. Can't connect, a little bit deep. And nice hustle by Kate Martin to dig up the ball. Here's Clark in the front court. Hesitates left side. And contact. And a foul will be called on the Redbirds. Kale Newland, her first, team's fourth. And Clark's got to wash that. I think she's just frustrated too. right there. I don't know, even know that she was trying to get open. I think she was just mad. And Kate Martin air balls a three-pointer from the left wing. The ball goes out of bounds along the baseline over to Illinois State. Deanna Wilson comes back for the Redbirds. McGinnis Taylor will sit down. 15-13 in favor of the Hawkeyes. Just under three minutes left to go first quarter. Sold out, Carver Hawkeye Arena. Compton against that 2-3 zone defense. Now Redmond reverses the ball. Newland inside Redmond. Nice pass underneath. Oh. And the swat by Kate Martin as Wilson tried to go up. Thought she was wide open. Clark to the rim down the right side. Contact and a foul on the Redbirds. Wow. I mean, can we take it back five seconds before that with Martin Sky block? You could hear that over here. I mean, she was getting set up for a volleyball kill on that one. And she came across the lane because Wilson was wide open on the right block. I mean, that was the most aggressive block I have seen by somebody in a long time, and I loved it. <laughs> Clark connects on the first free throw. She has six. Addie O'Grady comes in. Kylie Fierbach. And McKenna Warnock returns. Second one also good by Caitlin. She has seven. And 18 against Indiana in the championship game in Indy. 17-13. Hawkeyes on top. Illinois State 0 for its last four. And here's a steal. Clark drives down. Right-handed layup is good. Much better on the defensive end. You can tell that there was a, definitely something talked about at, at the timeout about their defensive intensity, and it has definitely went up a few notches since coming back out. Redbirds haven't scored for 225. Crompton drops it to Redmond in the corner. Reverses the ball to Wong for three left wing. No, not a big score. Hawks will give that shot up. 19-13 Iowa. Clark top of the key and contact. And if that's on Redmond, that should be her second leading scorer for Illinois State. Iowa shooting 54%, 7 of 13, 38% for Illinois State. I mean, Iowa just really has turned it on after going the 4-4 uh, four four field goal shooting. They're now on a 12-1, make that 13-1 run. And then Illinois State has just went cold. They're 0 for 5. That defensive pressure has definitely hurt them. Clark connects on both free throws. She has 11. And just like that, it's 21 to 13. 9-0 run for Iowa. The last minute, 44. Illinois State with the basketball. Prompton fakes a three. Gets it into the corner to Newland. Now inside, Wilson makes a move. 
and can't connect. Hawks dig it up. Warnock gets the ball down on the right wing, thought about driving in, now pulls it back out behind the arc and gets it to Kate Martin. Now to Clark. Clark top of the key, dribbles between her legs. Now to Martin on the right wing, drives paint. Contact, gives it back to Fierbach for three. No good off the left side of the iron. And the rebound taken down by Newland. Redbirds will run some offense. Iowa 21, Illinois State 13. Bowman. I mean, this zone pressure is so much better for the Hawkeyes than that player to player. They've done a good job with it. And then in the paint, Bowman goes up with the left hand and banks it in. Nice little spin move by the 6'2 sophomore, Kate Bullman. And it's 21-15 Iowa. Clark with the ball in between the circles. Feeds to Kate Martin on the right wing. Looks to drive. Now back to Kate. 15 to shoot. 30 on the clock to end the first quarter. Clark hesitates. Drives the paint. Uh, scoop shot no good. Plenty of red jerseys right with Caitlin Clark. Illinois State with Wong. Now to Bullman. Now back to the point guard, Maya Wong, who had 15 against you and I. We'll try to set things up. Five to shoot. Now a 14-foot jump shot. A little bit strong for Newland. And now both teams going after the rebound. A tie-up situation as Wilson is tied up by the Hawkeyes. And Iowa will have it with 1.2 left to go. And we'll just inbounds it, and that'll do it for the first 10 minutes of basketball. A little bit of a slow start for the Hawkeyes, but certainly came on, and it was the 2-3 defense that really spurred Iowa, and especially with the defense, and then did the job at the offensive end as well. Iowa 21, Illinois State 15 after one. Blue is caring, blue is convenient, and now blue is Medicare Advantage from Wellmark Advantage Health Plan, offering all-in-one Medicare coverage, our extensive network, and the confidence of being covered by Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield. Learn more at wellmarkadvantage.com. Second quarter action after the break, Iowa 21, Illinois State 15. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Mid-American Energy and you, together partnering to change the energy landscape by pioneering money-saving energy efficiency programs and building a new industry in Iowa, wind energy, all while keeping your rates low. So what's next? We'll keep delivering cost-effective energy efficiency programs while putting money back in your pocket. That's right. You decide how best to spend your savings. That's a partnership good for you, good for the environment, and good for Iowa. Another way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Bush, Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Check out Bump's Restaurant, located on Melrose Avenue in Iowa City, inside the new Nagel Family Clubhouse at Finkbine Golf Course. We use fresh whole ingredients and scratch cooking in all of our dishes. Come enjoy a blackberry avocado salad, our famous pork tenderloin, or maybe our signature Kinnick Burger with a side of our fresh hand-cut french fries. And don't forget to try our legendary Mary and handcrafted cocktails. Reservations are encouraged. Make yours today by calling 319-335-9662. Bump's Restaurant, legendary man, legendary food. After one, the Hawkeyes 21 and the Redbirds 15. Here in Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Corn is a multi-purpose crop which benefits the entire state. It feeds our livestock, nourishes our families, and provides clean-burning fuel for our planet. As always, thank you to Iowa's corn farmers. 
A lot of people in town for this uh, weekend tournament, the first and second rounds of the NCAAs. It's the Greensboro region, and the winner of this game will face Creighton, who took care of Colorado earlier this afternoon, 84 to 74. So you can also experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all suite hotels. Homewood Suites and the home two suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. In that first quarter, Iowa 7 of 15 for 46.7%. Illinois State, 6 of 16, 37.5%. Clark with 11. Mary Crompton with 8 to lead the Redbird attack and a push. In between the circles will be charged to Caitlin Clark. And they've been trying to keep the ball out of Crompton's hands after she went hot in that first quarter. So you've seen limited touches from her since then. Illinois State with the ball. Hawks by six at 21 to 15, just underway, second quarter. Here's Crompton, gets free right wing and drills it. And there she is. Quick that release. Touch. Right. Three out of three from three point range. Sonano in the middle of the paint, goes to the left shoulder and banks it in, her first basket. And Monica Sonano just hasn't, they haven't really been looking into her that much just because it's been a lot of three-pointers have been open for them. Illinois State with the ball. Kenzie Bowers has it taken away by Caitlin Clark down the right side of the lane. Layup, good off the window. Great finish. Fabulous job getting her hand into the passing lane. She's not doing much more than getting her hand just out there in the passing lane, and Illinois is being lazy with their passes, so steal that ball. And that's two steals that have converted into layups by Caitlin Clark, and she has 13. Here's a three-pointer right wing that is no good by Bowman. Long rebound taken down by Wilson, goes to work in the paint. Shot is up and no good, and Warnock comes down with the rebound. 25-18, Hawks with the basketball, and a three-pointer no good by Clark from the left wing. Weak side, rebound to Crompton. Have to get out on her. She drives and then kicks it out to Bowers. Now, in the lane. Turn around, left-handed shot is up and no good by Bullman. Kind of pushed that one toward the rim. And here's Clark in transition. Kicks it right side for Gabby Marshall. Three is a little bit deep. And the ball bounces into the hands of Illinois State. Just underway, second quarter, 25-18, to 18, Iowa. Illinois State with the basketball. Hawks still in that 2-3 zone. They extend out to the three-point arc. And here's a three-pointer that is no good by Bowers. And the ball dug up by Crompton in the corner. Now gets it to Wilson. Turnaround jumper from six feet is good. That's her second basket. She has four. 25-20. Martin inside. Nice lob pass by Sonano. Kate Martin, her first basket on the right block. Well, really, that was just a cut. That was all set up by Martin because she cut through hard. She went right to the open spot. Here's Bowers. It's a pass inside to Wilson and a whistle. And Monica's just got to get on that high side. So a lot of Illinois State's offenses, they're cutting through the lane, okay? They're cutting across, trying to go to the opposite side, going post up in the middle. And it's easy. You can stop them. You just have to get to the spot before them. And so trying to be light on your feet, get to the spot before them, that'll help. Illinois State tried to get it in along the baseline. It was knocked out of bounds by McKenna Warnock. O'Grady for Sonato. All five starters have one foul. That's the five fouls so far for the Hawkeyes with a seven-point lead. Here's Crompton. Has this three-pointer blocked by Warnock, but into the hands of Wilson. Tries to get a pass out to the top of the key. Picked off by, guess who? Caitlin Clark. There's another right-handed layup. Just getting in the passing lanes. That's all she's doing is a great job getting in the passing lanes. And that was created also by Warnock being aggressive, realizing the ball was dead and getting out there. 15 for Caitlin Clark, Hawks by nine. Just under seven left to go, second quarter, three-pointer off the mark by Wong. She's not been able to get hot from deep. Here's Martin with the basketball, probes the middle, kicks it back out 
to Gabby Marshall, sends it right side, Warnock for three, rimming no. O'Grady tipped the ball, but into the hands of Mary Crompton. Crompton across the midcourt line, fakes a three right wing, out of Redmond, drives in, pulls up from 12, and hits it just right of the key. Redmond with five, leading score for Illinois State right around 18. Here's O'Grady, jumper good just outside of the paint. Perfect. Perfect turnaround. Addie O'Grady can do a turnaround every single day on these players because she has, I mean, a solid seven inches when you include her arms. So, I mean, just a turnaround jumper is great for her. First bench points for the Hawkeyes. O'Grady, the two. Need to recycle old working refrigerators and deep freezers? Visit midamericanenergy.com for details, plus energy-saving tips. Timeout, Illinois State will take it as well with 6.18 left to go in the second quarter. Iowa 31 and the Illinois State Redbirds 22. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bags. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Is bringing his concert series, Mickey Dolenz Celebrates the Monkees, to Riverside Casino on April 15th. Celebrating over 50 years of music with hits like I'm a Believer. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. To last train to Clarksville. Tickets are on sale now at Riverside Casino and Resort.com. From Learfield, this is the NCAA Tournament. the Hawkeyes over the Redbirds. First round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Hawkeyes led 21 to 15 after one. And Caitlin Clark with three steals, Jamie, that she's converted into points. And just leading the charge, all five starters have scored for the Hawkeyes. And that 2-3 zone defense has been one of the big storylines so far. Well, the adjustment to it, I mean, it's two entirely different games with them when they were player to player. They were getting beat on the drives. They were getting open shots. Nothing was working for Iowa. And that's why you got to love Coach Bluter that she quickly is like, eh, eh, eh. no. <laughs> Even though it is something that Iowa has really prided themselves in, their ability to play player to player, not working, change it. And uh, yeah, that's the key here is that Iowa quickly made the change rather than try to force their way through it uh, in that first first quarter. Eight points off turnovers yep. for the Hawkeyes, zero for Illinois State, 14 points in the paint, and eight points off of fast break opportunities. Yep, Iowa just really has to, I they think they're starting to figure out uh, Illinois' defense as well because you can tell that they're, they're cutting harder, they're cutting to the open spots, they're not just cutting through, and that's much more effective in a game is when you're cutting to the open spots rather than just running through the motions. Redbird basketball after the Kristen Gillespie timeout. Hawks stay in that 2-3 zone defense. Martin with good ball pressure. She'll double the post. Now Wong tries to get it back into Wilson. Goes to work in the paint. And Martin gets in there and swats it away and keeps the basketball. Gets it ahead to Caitlin Clark. Right side, McKenna Warnock. Yes. Counted. Three-pointer. Oh, my gosh. I've just been sitting here wanting one of her shots to go in. Can this be the time where Warnock gets back on a roll? That's what she got to hope. Too good of a player. Second team all Big Ten. Warnock with seven. And it's 34-22. Hawkeyes with some breathing room as they have connected on four of their last five from the floor. Long range three goes down for Kate Bowman. Hit that one left to the top of the key. She has five. Not a big score. Good rebounder. Only got four against uh, you and I. 
Nine rebounds in the MVC title game. Here's O'Grady, top of the key, behind the arc. Now feeds right side. Martin goes to work on the baseline. Puts a shot up that is no good. A little bit off balance. And Illinois State digs it up. Here's Wong. Feeds left side to Redmond. Now back to Wong. Fakes a pass to the right side. And now will back it up. 35 feet from the hoop. 34-25 Iowa. 440 left to go. Second quarter. Wong. Now gets it to Redmond in the paint. She spins, goes up, has it blocked by Kate Martin again. Kate. Now to Clark at the free throw Block line. City. Angles right side, feeds Warnock, tries to slip a pass to O'Grady. And unfortunately, Warnock just ran into an Illinois State player that took a charge in the paint. And McKenna Warnock picks up her second foul. Did everything she could to avoid right. the contact, but it was there. I mean, yeah. When well, someone said up there, they're just going to fly if you even touch them with a the feather. Which, it's not that they're really, I mean, it's kind of flopping. But you did touch them. They were, in fact, in that position. And just a bummer, but that's okay. Iowa can make those adjustments. And now you just know to come to a jump stop sooner. And timeout on the court with 4.20 left to go second quarter. Iowa 34. Illinois State, 25. And no runs, really. So we saw some runs at the end of the first quarter. There hasn't been much for runs going on this quarter. Iowa has started to grow their lead a little bit, not a ton. Uh, but there definitely has been some growth this quarter as well. Now with their largest lead, though, and that's... No, their largest lead was 12. Now have a nine-point lead. But Illinois, or Illinois, yeah, Illinois State, uh, they even had a 7 and, they were a 7 and 0. Oh. Like on a 7 and 0 oh run, they've had their own. Their largest lead has only been five points. But Iowa thus far, I think they had a rough first five minutes. But I do think they did a good job of composing themselves. They didn't need Coach Bluter to take a timeout. They figured it out on their own. And she mentioned that to you in the pregame show that, hey, Gonna have to just monitor the first five minutes or so to get into the flow. Been off for a couple of weeks. Sold out crowd once again might be a little overzealous, a little overhyped, but Hawks I think settled in nicely, especially with the, the defense. We talked about that two-three zone defense that has worked right. so well. And Caitlin Clark already with three steals and Kate Martin with three block shots. I mean, the defense is amazing right now. Iowa's doing a lot of little things that we don't actually see them. I mean, Iowa's not a blocking team. They don't dig it tons of blocks. A few, usually a couple of games. You're not going to usually see this many, especially not from coming from Kate. You see a lot more coming from Addie O'Grady. And really, that just the defense that they figured out to get on Compton, because I think if you gave Compton any room, She's going to go and she's going to try to light a fire. So you got to stay on her. You got to limit her, just her touching the ball because she's ready to play today. Well, and she's had a terrific season, especially from behind the arc coming into today. 71 of 190, 37.4%. The next player for Illinois State that has taken the second most amount of three point shots is uh, Wong with 67. But she's only making them at a 27% clip. Molly's Cupcakes is proudly serving their cookies and treats inside Kinnick Stadium and also right here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. For a taste of unique flavors you'll love, stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, cakes bars, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes, a proud supporter of the Hawkeyes. Sonano back in there for the Hawkeyes as they set up in that 2-3 zone defense. Redmond at the free throw line for the Redbirds. Kicks it right side. Wong for three. Ribbing no. Weak side rebound by Wilson. Back outside. Crompton for three. High arching shot. No. And Kate Martin with the rebound. And just took a shot in the face. That'll go against Deanna Wilson, her second. Kate's okay. I think she was making sure her nose wasn't bleeding. 
Remember, she's broke that nose on a couple of occasions. That's wore that be scary. mask. I know, that's got to be so scary every time you get hit in the nose after breaking your nose, right? Just like anybody who breaks anything, like when something comes near it, now you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the old broken one. But like she's going to shy away from anything. No, I right. She's more just like, am I bleeding? No, okay, we're going to be okay. 34-25. Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. We're under four, second quarter. Taiwo zips a pass to Kate Martin, and she drives in and try to spin move, lost control of the basketball, and it goes out of bounds along the baseline. And I want Martin to look for that shot because she's open, and they're not coming out on her as hard because they're looking for her to drive, so look for a shot. Try to make him play you up. And she could hit that shot. Evidence the Big Ten tournament in Indianapolis. Illinois State gets the ball in deep. Redmond goes to work. Little shot in the paint outside of the semicircle is good. She has seven. Iowa's in the midst of their own scoring drought right now, just over two minutes without hitting, getting any points on the board. Let's see if it ends here. On top, 34-27. Clark zips a pass inside to Sonato, goes up strong off the window and finishes in the paint. I mean, how do you finish? Oh, and Gabby Marshall with the steal. <laughs> She's well, sneaking in happens there. Happens every game. It's so shocking when she does it because we're just looking. Oh, nope. Gabby stole it. <laughs> yep, we got to know better. She does it every single game. And she has the ball on the right wing. Dribble penetration into the paint. Spins. Now back out. Free throw line extended right. Sonano with a screen. And gets the ball to Clark. Whips a pass inside. Sonano goes up strong. Ow. Kisses it off the glass. Out it. And she's fouled. I mean, that's why she is an honorable mention All-American. I mean, she is so good. So good. Gets the finish. And she was really bodied up on that shot. Great finish. And at the free throw line to complete the three-point play and does just that. Sonano with seven. Had 30, remember, against Indiana in that Big Ten championship game. 39-27. Inside, Redmond goes to work in the paint. Little floater is good. Boy, she finds a way to get open inside. She does. Clark to Taiwo, left wing. She'll fire a three-pointer off the right side of the iron. And Mary Crompton with the rebound. Former Regina star angles left. Wong reverses the ball to Redmond. Fox get out there defensively. Redmond in between the circles. Left side, Crompton gets into the corner to Bullman. Fires, shot is up and no good. And Clark hits the deck in a push. He is called on Jasmine McGinnis-Taylor. And that's going to be just a forearm as, she, as Clark was going up for the rebound. And that'll be her third. So McGinnis-Taylor, who's played six minutes, has accumulated three fouls off the Illinois State bench. It's a lot of fouls in six minutes. Hawks by 10, 39-29. We're under two. Second quarter. Sonano comes out on the right wing to get the ball. Cross-court pass to Marshall. Now Clark in between the circles. Bullman on her. Feeds right side to Marshall. Corner three, rimming no. Martin goes after the rebound, but dug up by Illinois State. Down court pass, Bullman kicks it out to Redmond. She drives and then gets it back to Bullman for three. Just skipped off the right side of the rim. Kate Bullman not afraid to shoot, but has made only one three-pointer. Here's Clark in between the circles. Angles right side. Whips a pass inside. Sonano goes to work again off the window. That's just bread and butter right there. It's so simple looking. She's done that three times in a row. Just turns to the right. Nice little kind of like a hook shot off of the off of the glass. Just and perfect. Right on the right block. Her favorite place. She can turn to that left shoulder. And Taiwo with a steal. And the finish off the glass. And even with a little bit of, I think, that caught on the hand a little bit, but more so she focused on the finish. People are getting out in the passing lanes. They're seeing Illinois' weakness. 43-29. Hawkeyes. And Redmond can't handle a pass along the baseline. And it's 
into the hands of Caitlin Clark, who will walk it across the timeline. Hawks can hold for the final shot, up 43-29. 13 seconds. Clark out near the timeline. 7-6. Now she's doubled. Goes left side, three-pointer. Off the back of the iron. And the rebound by Wong, and that'll do it for the first two quarters. Well, that was a good way to finish. Even with that miss right there, that got Iowa to their largest lead of 14. And if that three would have dropped <laughs> by Taylor That one almost Park, would have been a dagger right there, right? 15,000 oh. would have erupted. <laughs> and they've been into this one. First round action of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. The winner faces Creighton on Sunday. Law enforcement is cracking down on wearing seatbelts. The Iowa Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau reminds you to click it or ticket day or night. The Bud Light Halftime Show is coming up. Iowa 43, Illinois State 29. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. You don't have to go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. The next time you visit Eastern Iowa, check out the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, Bachmeyer Carpet One, Floor and Home, Klosterman Construction, and the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, named Iowa Tourism's 2021 Hotel of the Year and awarded the AAA Four Diamond Award for Lodging. To make reservations, visit thehotelatkirkwood.com or call 877-751-5111 for more information. Outfitting your life in authentic brand means showing the world how authentic of a Hawkeye fan you are. Choose from the greatest selection of Hawkeye headwear, apparel, and accessories. When you choose authentic brand, you're supporting a company founded right here in Iowa and a proud supporter of the University of Iowa. Available in hundreds of storefronts across the Midwest or online at authentic-brand.com. Outfit your Hawkeye life on game day and every day with authentic brand. Oh, you know that old injury of yours, the one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapists will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Today's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Hawkeye Radio Network is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless with a nationwide network built from your town up. Welcome back courtside, Carver Hawkeye Arena. Friday afternoon basketball. We are at the half, Iowa 43, Illinois State 29. This is the halftime show brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light proudly welcomes back Hawkeye fans to Carver Hawkeye Arena this year. Bud Light is for the fans. Jamie, individually, the first half. Well, so far in the first half, there's two players on each team that have double figures. One, Caitlin Clark has 15 points for Iowa. Crompton for Illinois State has 11 points for the Redbirds. But Iowa, we're going to focus on them right now. So Clark has 15. She's 5 of 9 from the field, 1 of 4 from the three-point line, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. And additionally, she has four rebounds and, hold on, six assists and three steals. So, I mean, she has quite the stat line going along, but other Hawkeyes are helping out, uh, especially with these points. Monica Sonato almost with uh, double figures at nine points. She's a perfect four of four from the field, one for one from the free throw line. 
throwing in three rebounds for the Hawkeyes. Seven points coming from McKenna Warnock. She's three of seven from the field, one of four from the three-point line, but doing some other things for the Hawks. Three rebounds, one assist, and one block. Six points, Gabby Marshall, and that's from two three-pointers that she has hit. She's also thrown in three assists. Kate Martin, just with two points. However, don't let that fool you. She's contributing in a lot of ways. She has seven rebounds, three blocks, one steal, one assist. So just really doing a lot of things for the Hawkeyes. And then uh, Monica Sonato has one assist for the Hawks as well. I'm trying to see who has, and Clark has six. O'Grady has two points. Tomi Taiwo has two points and one steal. So, and then one steal coming for Addie O'Grady. So just a lot of people contributing in more, more ways just outside of the points region. So Iowa figuring out what they can do and then assist 12 as a team is a great point to be at this point. And especially against just four turnovers. Right. So 12 to four, the assist to turnover ratio. Iowa has led for 13 minutes and 49 seconds. The Redbirds of Illinois State for four and 50. Back with more of the Bud Light Halftime Show, Iowa 43, Illinois State 29. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, we harvest the wind to provide you with clean, affordable energy. But did you know our commitment to wind energy also creates jobs and generates millions in local revenue? That's money your community can use to fix roads, support first responders, and improve schools. MidAmerican Energy's commitment to renewable energy delivers positive results for our state. And it's one more way we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Are you looking to downsize from your family home to begin your retirement years? Our Oak Knoll East campus is for you. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director at Oak Knoll. Our new campus has many unique amenities for your active lifestyle, in addition to providing the same great services that Oak Knoll has offered our residents for over 50 years. We're now open and have a few two-bedroom apartments still available. Call me at 319-351-1720 or visit oaknoll.com to set up your personal tour. Go Hawks! Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Hawkeyes 43, the Redbirds of Illinois State 29 at the half. Let's check the U.S. Bank scoreboard at U.S. Bank. We know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. We are committed to providing high quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Women's basketball, NCAA first round scores, and Nebraska in a little bit of trouble with uh, 327 left to go in the third. Down to Gonzaga at 47 to 40 in an 8 9 contest. Baylor at the half over Hawaii, 38 to 29. South Carolina all over Howard in a 1 versus 16 matchup. South Carolina, the number one overall seed, 79. Howard, 21. That's a final. 
Virginia Tech loses to Florida Gulf Coast. Virginia Tech a five seed. FGC a 12 seed. Florida Gulf Coast uh, tw uh, 84. Virginia Tech 81. Miami has defeated South Florida 78-66. South Dakota has defeated Ole Miss 75-61. And earlier today in this building, Creighton advance to Sunday's second round with a 84-74 win over Colorado. Iowa State plays later on tonight at 9 o'clock against UT Arlington. We'll check uh, NCAA men's scores after we pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Hawkeye Women's Basketball. NCAA men's finals today, Ohio State 54, uh, Loyola 41, Auburn 80, Jacksonville State 61, Texas Tech advances with a 97-62 victory over Montana State, Purdue moves on 78-56 over Yale, and Villanova by 20 over Delaware 80-60. In the second quarter, 9.36, Miami of Florida 44, USC 42. Notre Dame and Alabama tied at 32 in the first. Same for Virginia Tech and Texas tied at 18. Iowa 43, Illinois State 29, Hawks back out on the floor. We'll take a break. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. The Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime. The next time you visit Eastern Iowa, check out the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Bachmeyer Carpet One Floor and Home, Closerman Construction, Almost Famous Popcorn, and Jill Armstrong Realty, the area's premier realtor. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team for all your real estate needs. Call 319-631-5455. We might not remember the exact feeling of catching our first fish, but one thing's for sure, we must have really liked it. Because from that moment forward, our futures were set. And fishing has shown us everything from people to places we probably never would have seen. So, maybe this whole fishing thing isn't just about keeping a fish at all. Maybe it's about keeping that feeling alive. Shields, we feel it too. So stop in and let's talk fishing. Welcome back to the Bud Light Halftime Show. Both teams back out on the court warming up. And Jamie, Iowa's done a lot of good things here in the first half, leading 43 to 29, mm -hmm. and especially getting easy buckets inside the paint. They have. Uh, that's a huge one for Iowa. Looking at those points in the paint, man, they are just doing a fabulous job with 20 points in the paint. A lot of those coming from Monica Sinano, although she's a little upset the paint when she's hit some of the shots, I think they still count probably. Uh, but 20 points for Iowa, just 10 for the Redbirds. Quick shout out to Nicole 
Joel, Kathy, and Jackie. Those are people who have told me they're listening in. I'm sure everyone's enjoying this right now because uh, when you have a teeny tiny bit of room, you got to take it because it's nice to have a nice deep breath you can take in. Good to be up. And we'll be back with the third quarter. Iowa 43, Illinois State 29. This has been the Bud Light Halftime Show. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Did you know that as a MidAmerican Energy customer, nearly half of your life is powered by the wind energy we provide? That means when you're at home fixing a snack, or at work sending emails, you're using wind energy. Investing in wind helps us keep your rates low. Renewable wind energy. It's clean, affordable, and powerful. And it's one more way MidAmerican Energy is obsessively, relentlessly at your service. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two mangoes. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Bush, Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Missed Warnock three. Bowman pulls up from the left wing, also misses from deep. And then the ball goes out of bounds along the baseline. Touch last by Juju Redman. So each team has missed a quick three-pointer to start the third quarter. 43-29, Hawkeyes with the lead and the ball. Left to right in front of us. And they're gold uniforms. Martin on the right wing. And a push <laughs> is going to be called on Monica Sonano trying to post up underneath. Yep, just posting up. And that's one of the things, again, like I said, these are different refs. So if that happens, then Iowa needs to adjust to it. Illinois State with the basketball. Wong. Gets it to Wilson. Now Redmond on the right wing. Spins, pulls from 12, short, into the hands of Sonano. That's a patented Redmond move right there. Oh. Clark finds Sonano inside, finishes, and is decked, and will get a chance to complete the three-point play. Got it off the so window, pretty. fading away. I want to watch that one on repeat. I'm going to watch it right now because it's being replayed. But, man, just perfectly executed. Screen and roll. It was set up for them to do that. Clark waited patiently as Sonato came down the, down the court. And drills the free throw. She has 12, and that's now three fouls on Juju Redmond. Leading scorer for the Redbirds. 46-29. And she's probably getting frustrated because Marshall is in a full face guard on Redmond right now. Who does have nine points. Here's Wong for three. In and out. Battle for the rebound underneath. Touch last by Illinois State. Wong is 0 for 6 from three-point range. Shoots a fair amount of them, but under 30%. And the Hawks are going with the percentages and really allowing her some freedom to shoot it. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Kate Martin with some freedom and drills the three-pointer from the left wing right there in front of the Iowa bench. Is. There's Kate Martin with that three-point shot. She has five to go along with those seven rebounds. 49-29, the Hawks go up by 20. Big lead of the ball game. Right side, Wong again will fire, rimming no. And the ball tapped into the hands of Monica Sonano. To Martin, Clark on the right wing, hesitates, gets into the paint. She's immediately doubled and gets it out. And a little bit slow to get up. And Clark uh, limping a little bit as she tried to get through the double team to get a pass out to the top of the key. She's walking it off. Looks like she's going to be okay. But she picked the ball up in the paint. Right. Double team collapsed on her. And then she tried to get a pass out to the top of the key. And I think just banged her knee yeah. on the floor. Well, and you can tell the refs were trying to decide. Because no, you do, you can take a timeout. They can call a, a timeout to check on the player. Here's Gabby Marshall for three. Deep in the corner. Splits the net. Gabby Marshall has just been fire from the three-point arc. She is three of six today. And time out, Illinois State. The Hawks, three of their last three from the floor and have come out on fire to start the third quarter. 7.20 left to go. Quarter number three, Iowa 52, Illinois State 29. Have not scored in the third quarter. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. We might not remember the exact feeling of catching our first fish, but one thing's for sure, we must have really liked it. Because from that moment forward, our futures were set. And fishing has shown us everything from people to places we probably never would have seen. So, maybe this whole fishing thing isn't just about keeping a fish at all. Maybe it's about keeping that feeling alive. Shields, we feel it too. So stop in and let's talk fishing. Anything can happen when the Cyclones and Hawkeyes come to compete. It's where the rubber meets the road. Neighbors become rivals and friends become foes. Some go home brokenhearted, while others are victorious. When the dust finally settles, one thing stands true. No matter which side you're on, you're part of tradition for those who are Iowan through and through. We're Iowa Corn, a proud sponsor of the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Nikki Dolenz of the Monkees. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Is bringing his concert series, Mickey Dolenz Celebrates the Monkees, to Riverside Casino on April 15th. Celebrating over 50 years of music with hits like I'm a Believer. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. To last train to Clarksville. Tickets are on sale now at RiversideCasinoAndResort.com. Bucks on a nine to nothing run to start the third quarter. That prompted a Kristen Gillespie timeout. And the Hawks are cruising right along at 52 to 29 with 720 left to go in the third quarter. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, locally owned and operated, has been voted best of the area for the ninth consecutive year. Proudly supports Iowa women's basketball. Visit Dodge Street Tire for all of your automotive needs, including the best deals on Goodyear and Toyo tires. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, celebrating 29 good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets. Well, uh, I just have one question. G is 67% from three-point line good? That's all I want to know. I think so. I think so, too. It's a heck of a way to start the third quarter is what I would say. And the Hawks overall, 6 of 19 from three, 20 of 36 from the floor. Illinois State, a good three-point shooting team. At 35% on the season, now just 4 of 18, 22%. Clark getting a breather. Fearbach in. Illinois State with the basketball. Crompton, who had 11 points in the first half, will fire a three right wing. No good off the right side of the iron. And Iowa with the rebound. Looks to run. Here's Fearbach. 
penetrates the baseline and then tried to get it to Sonato and it's stolen away by Wong. Wong feeds right side. Redmond floater off the window is good. Boy, she's really good at about 15 feet and in. Yeah, she, that mid-range is very, uh, very strong for her. Juju Redmond, first team all Valley. Sonato has her shot blocked on the right wing by Deanna Wilson. Ball goes out of bounds, will stay with Iowa. And Wilson will be called for a foul. At first, I didn't think they were going to call it. I didn't, the one ref I was looking at wasn't calling it, so. But Deanna Wilson will pick up her third, so two free throws for Monica Sonato. Perfect on the first. Monica with 13 at nine at the half. Second one in the air, got it. And O'Grady will come in for Sonato. 54-31, Hawkeyes, 6.34 left to go in the third. I think Coach Bluter is definitely gonna try to do some extra subbing right now. Nothing crazy. She's going to keep people that are normally out on the court, but she might slow down their minutes a little bit in the next uh, next 15, 16 minutes. Hawk stay in that 2-3 zone. That's worked so well. Fearbach chasing Crompton all over the place. And is going to be called for a bump. That's her first. Making Crompton Outstanding three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. Work really hard to get the ball. Right. Because if you look at the first half stats, Crompton had a total of six shots, and she's had just one. Looks like the Hawks are in a triangle and two. They are in a triangle and two. Yep. And Gabby Marshall on Redmond. Two scorers with 11 points. Now oh, a deep three-pointer that is off the mark. The set time by Newland, and both teams go after the rebound, and it's touched last by the Hawkeyes. Clark returns for Gabby Marshall, 54-31. Bowman for Crompton, change for the Redbirds. Illinois State will have it along the baseline. 5.55 left wow. to go, and the pass intercepted by McKenna Warnock. Threw it right to her in the paint. Bounce pass inside, O'Grady goes up strong and is fouled after the nice entry bounce pass by Caitlin Clark. And that's gonna be on Wilson again, so that's gonna be four on her. And Wilson just fouled, but she had no, no regard for fouling there. She did that. And Wilson, a 6'2 junior, will come out of the game. Eddie O'Grady at the free throw line. Perfect on the first. O'Grady with three. Boy, how good has her play been? I mean, her minutes are crucial because when she comes in, she's effective. It's uh, like I've said multiple times, it's not really a letdown because she's still really good. I mean, Monica Sonato is index level probably higher, but she's still really good. And just such valuable minutes for O'Grady. She missed the second free throw. So one out of two, and it's 55-31 Iowa. Redbirds with the basketball. Redmond on the right wing. Out of Wong, drives down the right side, drops a pass off inside, and <laughs> shot by McGinnis Taylor. And blocked away by O'Grady, but Eddie will pick up her first. I think these rests have been pretty good. That was not the best call, but I think all in all, pretty good so far. Hawks with nobody with more than two personal fouls. Warnock and Sonato each with two. And the free throw good by McGinnis Taylor, 6'3 sophomore, her first point. But when you're in a zone, which is largely what you're playing, you're usually going to foul less. Second also good. That's the first points off the bench for Illinois State. Here's Clark, feeds left side. Mark to O'Grady, wide open underneath, left-handed layup, good. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Good ball reversal. Liked it. Went from the point, left wing, down on the left block. 
And it's 57-33, approaching five left to go in the third. Illinois State with the ball. Here's Newland. Gives it off to Redmond, trying to make something happen. Spins in the paint and a reach on the Hawkeyes. And so here's where Iowa has to recognize this, the refs are calling a lot more touch fouls right now than they had been doing. So adjust, adjust your play. You're going to have to move your feet a little bit better than you were doing. You don't want to make this turn this into some free throw, a free throw shooting contest. So Fierbach picks up her second foul. In business, MidAmerican Energy can help you save energy and add to your bottom line. Visit MidAmericanEnergy.com to learn more. Four and 50 left to go in the third quarter. Timeout on the floor. Iowa 57, Illinois State 33. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Keep yourself and your loved ones healthy by getting your free COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, when you get a COVID-19 vaccine at your Hy-Vee Pharmacy between February 1st and April 30th, you can get a 50 cent Hy-Vee Fuel Saver reward. Talk about savings. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccination appointment today at hyvee.com slash COVID vaccine. Some restrictions apply. See pharmacy for more details. In Iowa, we grow corn, a lot of corn. We love seeing our farmers in the fields, and although they're perfect strangers, we know them. We know them by their equipment covered in dust. We know them by their work ethic, where days off don't exist. We know them by the way they wave, passing strangers along on a two-lane road. We know them in the midst of our kitchen as we prepare another family meal. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. The Iowa corn farmers are proud to be on the sidelines for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer here. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. From Learfield, this is the NCAA Tournament. Rob Brooks and Jamie Cavey Lang, courtside, Carver Hawkeye Arena, round one of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Hawks lead it 57 33. Nebraska is going to lose to Gonzaga as Gonzaga leads Nebraska 68-55 with 47 seconds left to go. Maryland has an early lead on Delaware 24-17. That in the final minute of quarter number one. We know Iowa grows a lot of corn, but in reality, corn grows Iowa. Corn grows our livestock, our economy, and our athletes. Put on your best face for the Iowa Corn Camp. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to be corn fed. Let's throw a quick shout out to Kelsey and Ryan telling me they're they're listening in. They actually pulled themselves away from some other TVs just to listen. In. Well, hopefully they're not working. I mean, it's five o'clock. Oh no, it's not yet. Is it? it feels like five o'clock. Illinois State with the basketball. Basket to our left. Here's Bullman on the left wing. Takes a couple of dribbles. Kicks it back out to Newland with two on the clock and then gets it to Redmond who is able to finish from 15 feet away. Here's Taiwo for three. Swishes it from the left wing. Three for Toby. Perfect name for shooting threes. Uh, Tomi Taiwo three, and she has five. She had that steal and nice layup back in the second quarter. Redmond pulls from 15 and swishes it just I mean, Redmond, outside of the paint. She's just going to keep going. I have a feeling every time Redmond gets the ball right now, she's going to look to score. Here's Clark for three, a little bit short. And the rebound taken down by Illinois State, but then lost. Dug up by Marshall, who goes up in the paint and is pushed. And that was all created. Tomi got after the ball. She didn't try to want the play to end. And Marshall, she's always going to jump on that. If she sees someone else going up for that type of play, she's going to go for it. So Gabby Marshall will shoot two. As Lexi 
Fidelka from Nevada commits the foul. Just came into the game. And Gabby Marshall connects on both free throws. Marshall with 11. A shout out to former basketball player Krista Van de Venner and Mark Sandvig driving around listening to this right now. She was a fabulous post. She was yes, a she was on the boards. Redbirds with the basketball and a hold will be called on Taiwo out behind the arc. The last time that Illinois State was in this building, you have to go back to 2012 on the 11th of November. Hawkeyes won that game 74-64. Morgan Johnson yeah. had 24 points Morgan in that Johnson, game. Another great post. Really great post there. Well, that's why I threw that out there. <laughs> you know that I love, I love me some great posts, and Iowa has a slew of them. Free throw by Redmond. And Redmond is really, you can tell, she has something about her right now. She's that scores mentality. She does. She's going to keep going. She's going to keep fighting. She's not going to let this game end without knowing that she gave it her all. Yep. Fifth year senior. Drills both free throws, has 17. And it's 62-39, Hawkeyes. Here's Clark on the baseline. Whips a pass in the corner to Taiwo. Back up to Warnock. She drives down the left side outside of the paint. Loses control of the basketball. Gets it back to Clark. 13 to shoot as we approach three minutes third quarter. Clark on the right wing. Tries to back in. And then took an extra step before she rifled a pass down low to Sonano. There's been just a few too many times, I think, today where Iowa drives in with and just assuming there's going to be an opportunity right there so then they come to this jump stop and then they get stuck there's been quite a few of those today not something you normally see don't want to make that adjustment clark has not scored since the second quarter and 15 points in the first two 62 39 hawks on top illinois state with the basketball here's redmond wants to go to work it's still outside of the arc and now gets into the paint and the runner is good from 12 feet. 19 for Redmond, 10 in the quarter. Sonato gets it down low and is fouled. Van Zeeland, 6-1 freshman. First foul. And Sonato will be at the free throw line to shoot a pair. Five for five now for Monica Sonato. And Iowa, that makes them 12 for 13, shooting really well from the free throw line. And a very good free throw shooting team. Second one, perfect. 16 for Sonato. Grady comes in. The Hawks at 84% on the year at the strike. So Clark, Marshall, Martin, O'Grady, and Taiwo, the five. Illinois State with the ball. 64-41. Hawks in command. Here's Crompton. Iowa has put the clamps on her since the first quarter where she had 11. Here's Redmond going to work. Feeds it right wing. Long for three. No good. But she's fouled on the three-pointer by Kate Martin. And as I said this before, they are calling things much tighter this quarter. Iowa has to react to that right now. Caitlin Clark talking to the officials that Wong kicked her leg out to create the contact. Yes. And that's Wong's first point. Which was why Kate Martin was laughing a bit yeah, about was, the fact she got the foul called on That was her. a nice demonstration by Clark. Yes. Second Clark free is always throw, gonna, also good. I mean, she's never going to let you go into a fight on your own. She's going to jump right in with you, just so you know, which is a great teammate to have. Oh, yeah. She'll look out for everybody. <laughs> and Wong makes all three free throws. Her first points today, averaging 8.6. Here's Clark in deep, goes up and finishes after the pump fake. And I don't even think she even jumped and gets her first basket since the second quarter. Nope, I don't, I'm not sure that she jumped either, but it worked out okay. Worked in her favor. Fine. <laughs> New Zealand picks up her second. Clark at the free throw line and completes the three-point play. 18 for Caitlin Clark. 
has eight assists and four rebounds. 67-44, two minutes left to go, third quarter. Here's Wong. Three-pointer, rimming no. Bowman with the rebound. Dribbles it back out, finds Compton. She frees up for three, no good of left side of the iron. And O'Grady gets it out to Caitlin Clark. Drives paint. Scoop oh shot is up gosh. and good. Split two defenders. That was ridiculously good. I mean, she just figured out a way to get around there, found the holes, was dipping and diving. And Clark gets her hands on the basketball to tip it to Taiwo. But then she is tied up by Kate Bullman. Even Coach Bluter smiled after that one. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it was ridiculous looking. I mean, it's almost something you would see, I mean, I'm going to say, like, when you ha are playing fifth grade basketball because she just looked like driving around the defenders as if they didn't know how to play defense, just driving around them and then found her little hole right next to the basket. Lexi Bowles comes in. So Kristen Gillespie getting all the players from the state of Iowa in the contest. Three-pointer no good by Wong. Compton now sends it inside. Bowles kicks it out to Bullman. And now Wong drives down the right side, goes up off the window, and finishes a tough shot. The foul is on number 22, Caitlin Clark. That is her second. Clark's second foul. Kate Bullman from Grays Lake, Illinois. And the free throw good. Wong now has six. Here's Clark along the baseline, whips a pass to the left side to Marshall. Now to Taiwo for three, rattles it home. Another three for Tomi. Well, it must be the postseason. <laughs> Taiwo knocking down three pointers. 72 47. Hawkeyes blowing this one open with 50. Now 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Redmond out between the circles. Gives it off to Bowles from Dowling Catholic in Des Moines. Now back to Redmond, goes to work on the left wing, loses control of the ball off of her left leg and goes out of bounds. A little too much dribbling. Lexi Bowles from Dowling Catholic in Des Moines, a 6'3 freshman. Hawks can hold for the final shot of the quarter. On top, 72-47. Taiwo in between the circles. Now to Clark, top of the key. Turns and faces the basket. Thought about a step back three, now dribbles right side. Shot along the baseline, Ooh. short. And the ball touched last by Illinois State. Goes out of bounds. And the Hawks will have one second. One second along the baseline. Lob pass O'Grady, shot, got it! Beautiful. That's all you needed was one second. Beautiful. Lob pass in the middle of the You knew paint. they were going to run that play, though, right? That's a play they normally run, and it's perfect for last-second situations like that. But nobody has the 6-4... <laughs> Long frame of Addie O'Grady, and, and she, she caught it and held it above her head and just dropped it right in. And she's comfortable shooting that quick shot because that's something that they do in practice all day, every day. O'Grady with seven. What a way to finish the third quarter. Iowa will head to the fourth with a 74-47 advantage. All looks good for the Hawks and the Blue Jays on Sunday. But 10 minutes of basketball still to play. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Sense of pride that comes from the life of a farmer? How many people can say they have a famous tan named after them? Or be known for their way when they drive past neighbors and strangers alike on a two-lane road? Whether it's a farmer's tan or the farmer's way, we are proud to be known for a lot of things. We feel that pride every night at the dinner table, knowing we feed our family and yours. Iowa Corn is proud to be on the sidelines cheering on the Iowa Hawkeyes. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. 
It's a new season. Get ready for more men's and women's college sports excellence. Trophies will be awarded in June to schools who take the top spot in the 2021-22 Learfield Directors' Cup. The premier award recognizes one winning institution in all competitive divisions. Follow your favorite team's progress as seasonal standings are announced at L Directors' Cup on Twitter and online at directorscup.org. The crowning achievement in college athletics. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Today's broadcast brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light proudly welcomes back Hawkeye fans to Carver Hawkeye Arena this year. Bud Light is for the fans. Hawkeyes outscored Illinois State in the third quarter, 31 to 18. And just outstanding numbers. Iowa, 9 of 12 from the floor, 4 of 6 from 3, 9 of 10 from the free throw line. I mean, that is uh, some... Iowa stats are looking pretty hot right now. Uh, definitely not the Redbirds game so far. They're 0 of 8 from the 3... They were 0 for 8 from the 3-point... Or for the third quarter from the 3-point line. So... Yikes, not a good one for them, but Iowa doing great. 67, they finished that quarter 67% from the three-point line. Quick hello to Dylan listening in his car on 1040, I think, down in Des Moines. Yep, but WHO, one of our flagship stations. Rob knows all the stations and all the call letters because he's a professional like that. <laughs> but also, you can listen online on YouTube. Yeah. I know for the men's tournament, no streaming, but for the women's tournament, you can. So God, you that's the way you usually like to do right? it, right? One more reason to like the women's tournament. <laughs> and it's been so good for the Hawkeyes today. A 74-47 lead. Clark, top of the key. Tried to send a pass inside, but it's stolen away by Bullman. Nice hands by Kate Bullman to intercept the pass. Here's Wong in the paint. Looks to score. The floater, no. And Sonano over the back of Lexi Bowles. And Iowa is edging up on almost a 30-point advantage right now. So look for Iowa. To, they're going to continue to play because they got to keep some of their regular rhythm going on. You don't want to have them sit too much. But there will definitely be some substitutions happening this quarter. Illinois State gets the ball inside to Redmond. She spins in the paint. Left side of the iron, no. Sonano the rebound to Clark. And again, try to bounce pass. Batted away by Kate Bullman. Redbirds basketball. Here's Wong on the right side. Hawks up 74-47. She fires from three. Skipped off the front of the rim into the hands of Caitlin Clark. Clark, paint, goes up, fouled, and will shoot two. Bowman second. Kinsey Bowers, backup point guard, 5'9", freshman in for the Redbirds. Clark connects on the first, has five triple doubles. Leads the country. And assists and points. She's and connects on her 22nd. One assist second away throw. from a double double. Nine assists, five boards. But the key thing is to play more basketball. Right. Here's Redmond in between the circles. Feeds left side. Bowers now to Redmond. Drives right side. Cut off. Bowers. Now back to Redmond, looks inside, now will fire a three-pointer off the back of the bracket. Rebound by Bullman, tries to go up, and had it swatted away by Warnock, and then tied up by Sonano. 
Possession arrow favors Illinois State. 76-47, 8.28 left to go. Hawks, winners of their last seven. Horse one three in Indianapolis. Lob pass is into the hands of Gabby Marshall to Caitlin Clark. Right-handed layup off the window is good. A nice push, nice lead pass to get that going right away, and very unselfish ball right there. Clark with 23. Gabby Marshall, another steal. Here's Redmond, weaves her way into the paint. Kicks it right side, three-pointer. That's an air ball by Newland. And rebound to Clark. Bounce pass, Sonano, layup, good on the right block. Terrific find. That was a great find, great movement by Iowa. I mean, the Redbirds, you can tell, are not feeling it. They're, they're going down, um, and Iowa is still attacking. <laughs> and you got to give them credit, though. They're going to have to continue to play hard through the rest of the game, which is why Coach Bluter will start doing her substitutions. Uh, I see... Uh, Chris Eggers is listening up in Northwest Iowa. There's listeners everywhere, right? And everyone is now hearing me shout out. And so That's everyone right. is letting me know, hey, I'm listening. Absolutely. I and will tell we'll you all. continue to do so. I'm, it's great to hear that uh, people are listening. You tell me. I will say hi to you. Rob will say hi to you. I'll look and see if any of you tweet at him because, you know, he's busy looking at the stats right now. <laughs> you have all sorts I, of time. I got a lot of stuff going on over here. I got all these devices. And Illinois State takes timeout with 7.54 left to go. Hawks 80, Redbirds 47. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Today's broadcast of the NCAA tournament on the Hawkeye Radio Network is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless with a nationwide network built from your town up. Are you looking to downsize from your family home to begin your retirement years? Our Oak Knoll East campus is for you. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director at Oak Knoll. Our new campus has many unique amenities for your active lifestyle, in addition to providing the same great services that Oak Knoll has offered our residents for over 50 years. We're now open and have a few two-bedroom apartments still available. Call me at 319-351-1720 or visit oaknoll.com to set up your personal tour. Go Hawks! What's butter than bread? More bread. Put more bread in your wallet when you move your car loan to Community Choice and make no car payments for three months. Just 60 seconds to get started. Go to unbankyourbread.com. Loan subject credit approval and analysis. From Learfield, this is the NCAA Tournament. Welcome back courtside, Carver Hawkeye Arena. Rob Brooks and Jamie K.B. Lang, all Iowa today, 80 to 47. Hawkeyes outscored the Redbirds 31 to 18 in the third. Start on a 6-0 run here in quarter number four. P.W. Fleming oh, has uh, checked in. All right, I got uh, Aunt Shelley and Uncle Bill down in Texas. That's my Aunt Shelley. Nice. <laughs> Oh, and Kathy's listening on the varsity app, in case you're wondering. Or she said fans can't. She's just giving all the info. That's good. Well, this has been. That's what we need. This has been the game that I think we kind of expected from the Hawkeyes. Certainly uh, hoping for. Right. Yeah. You're thinking the first quarter might be a little rough, and it was. That was to be expected. Coach Bluter expected it. We all know with that break, it can be. But Iowa is a pretty resilient team and figured it out right away. Uh, kind of got the cobwebs off, and then have really taken it away, and especially that third quarter, which Iowa is pretty, does a great job in third quarters traditionally and with that 31 points um, in that third quarter. And I think things have just figured themselves out at that point. And shooting 61% from the floor and 36% from three, 90% from the free throw line. The Illinois State basketball, Hawks up 80-47. Left wing, jumper by Newland from the baseline, no good. Redman catches it in the air and puts it back. The old and we'll have a in. chance for a two-handed tip-in. We'll have a chance for a three-point play after Sonano picks up her fourth. Monica Sonano has not shot a ton of shots today, but what she has shot, she's made. If anybody has been keeping track, she's six of six from the field so far today. She did just pick up that foul. She has four fouls now. 
but really efficient from the offensive side. And she's pulled down seven rebounds. So great game for Monica Sinano today. Uh, six for six and six for six. Six for six from the field and the free throw line. Redmond completes the three-point play. She leads Illinois State with 22. That's four above her average. And the Hawks on top by 30. Sydney Fulter comes into the game. Here's Clark, top of the key, weaves to the right wing. Cross-court pass to Marshall. Now in the corner of Fulter, drives baseline, goes up and has her shot blocked by Deanna Wilson. Here's Newland, cross-court to Redmond. She'll continue to fire. Spin, baseline jumper, no good from 10. And the ball goes out of bounds. Touch last by Illinois State. Marshall right wing. Walks by 30, 80 to 50. Just under seven left to go. Marshall drives in, pulls up from the elbow, and rattles it home. Nice finish by Marshall. Off Does, the dribble. Yeah, it doesn't do a ton of pull-ups like that, but that looked really good from her. And Gabby has 13, had six at intermission. And when, Rob, we often talk about like who's going to be that third person, and Gabby Marshall was that third person today for scoring. And has hit three three-pointers, which is great to see. Bullman for three, that's an air ball. Left to the rim and goes out of bounds along the baseline. Over to the Hawkeyes, Kylie Fierbach for Gabby Marshall. Getting some of those subs. Mary Compton comes back for Illinois State. Quick shout out to Sedge in Brooklyn, NYC, listening on the tune in app. Oh, nice. I like to hear that. A little East Coast action, huh? Oh, yeah. oh, Grady, the catch, shot from six feet, no good. Went after the rebound and got her right hand on it and then collided underneath. And the ball went off of Illinois State. So nice hustle by O'Grady after missing the shot. Here's Clark. Try to cross court pass. It's tipped in the air by Redmond and dug up by Compton. She gets it back to Redmond. Back to Crompton. And she's trying to hunt a three pointer, but Fearbach comes out on her. Redmond turns the corner. Floater is up, rimming no. O'Grady the rebound. I mean, I really appreciate the, the fight that's in Redmond. And the three-pointer for Caitlin Clark from the left wing. But I appreciate that three-pointer a little bit more. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> 85 to 50. 522 to left to go. Clark almost a steal. And then will be called for a foul. That'll be three on Clark. Tywa will come in. And Clark will sit down with 26. Make that 27. The great 27, a double-double, 10 assists. There's a chance she'll come back in, but maybe not. Maybe for like a 30-second, one-minute thing if Coach Buddha wants to try something out. But most likely she'll be done for the rest of the game. Redmond along the baseline. One-handed pass across the court to Crompton. Makes a move on the baseline against a Fulter. He kicks it right side. Newland drives in, now back out to Crompton. Three-pointer, no, off the window. And didn't hit the rim, so that's a shot clock violation on Illinois State, Iowa basketball. I mean, can we just talk about Iowa's defense? Because Crompton came out firing, and had Iowa a, had 11, quickly, quick 11. Yeah, they shot, they shot her down real fast. I mean, that is great defense by Iowa to realize that and come after it. Fearbach for three, got it from the top of the key. Good to see it from Fierbach. Nice movement by Iowa. They were driving. They moved the ball really well. They drove it and actually pitched, knowing what they were doing when they were driving in. So good decisions right there. And Fierbach, no hesitation. Redmond in the paint. Spins from 10 off the left side of the rim. A bolt through the rebound. 88 to 50. Taiwo dribbles it out top to a Fulter. 
Ettinger and Cook get set to come into the game. Oh, Grady, turnaround jumper, paint no. Rebound to Wilson. And hi to Vinny, Bennett, and Sydney, who are listening in the car with my mom. I was going to say, who are they? <laughs> Off the miss three pointer by Crompton. A rebound and put back attempt by Wilson is no good, and O'Grady picks up her second. And that gets Logan Cook and A.J. Ettinger into the game. O'Grady will sit down, and Kate Martin will be presumably done for the day. So Deanna Wilson at the line, free throw strong. Wilson was, is a great post for them. It was all conference for the Redbirds. Averages over 13 a game. Second one rattles around, no good. Cook the rebound. It'll be Iowa and Creighton on Sunday as a Fulter wow. drills a three from the left wing. You gotta love her smile after she hit that three. Everybody's hitting three. Everyone is. Who isn't hitting a three? Iowa now 11 of 25 from three-point range, 44%. Fearbach almost a steal against Newland. Backup point guard for the Redbirds. 91-50. And the Hawks hit 100. Crompton for three. Long off the window and the rim. Redmond, though, gets the offensive rebound. Kicks it right side, and this three-pointer goes down for Newland. That's her first basket. 91-53, we're under three. Do not have a game time yet for Sunday's second round contest. Inside Ettinger, fakes, goes oh, up and under. Nice, nice move, move, but a little bit strong off the window. Yeah. You can tell she's been working on that move. Yeah, it looked great. It just didn't get that finish then. Lob pass inside to Wilson, turns to her left shoulder, goes up strong and finishes. That's only six for Deanna Wilson, second leading scorer for Illinois State. Cook, top of the key, peers inside, and then kicks it to Taiwo, who will fire a three-pointer and drill it just right at the top of the key. Three threes for Tommy. have to say it. The name is made for it. And she's shooting them at 45% this year. Man, you got to hope that, that tournament Tommy comes out. Well, she had a terrific Big Ten tournament and tournament last year. Crompton can't connect. Long rebound to Redmond, and she scores from 14. 24 for Juju Redmond. And a whistle as a Fulter goes up strong. Hawks got the ball down court quickly. Newland, her second. Fun fact, as we get a Fulcher to the line, I was told Rod this a little bit ago, but uh, I had three schools. When I was down to three schools, the Illinois State Redbirds were one of my top three schools, Iowa, Illinois State, and UNI. And then UNI was out, and then it was one of my top two. And then obviously I, I chose Iowa, but... <laughs> All good schools. I mean, yeah. So I probably know more than the average person about Illinois State. Sydney Fulter drops both free throws. So she has five. Hawks 18 of 19 from the free throw line. 96-55. Redbirds losing control of the ball. Iowa continues to play hard defensively. And that's been a huge story in Iowa's success as a long two-pointer goes down for Redmond. That's 20. 26 for Redmond. Who comes out of the game. You gotta love Iowa fans right now. That big hand big for her. her. Fifth-year senior. Here's Cook on the move, and we'll have and a Fulter offensive foul. 
And I think Iowa fans were a little edgy coming into today's game after the, the men lost yesterday. I, I mean, there was... Well, Kentucky is a number two seed. Right? Went down to St. Peter's yesterday in the men's tournament. I think there was a lot of a lot of edge and a lot of nerves coming into today. Probably, you know, a little bit more because you just want the teams to win, right? You always want your teams to win, and it's hard, and everyone takes it a little bit harder during tournament time. Well, it's such an abrupt end. It is. <laughs> You just don't want to see it happen. But the reality it does. <laughs> Here's a three-pointer. That's an air ball by Cohen. Freshman from Wheaton, Illinois, just into the game. But an offensive rebound for Illinois State. And Bowers fires up a 16-foot jumper. No. Gets it back, though, off the offensive rebound. Misses a three, top of the key. Hawks battling underneath. And another three-pointer in the air. This one no oh, good again by Cohen. Finally, the Hawks come away with the ball. The offensive possession that wouldn't end. Tybo with 11. Has the basketball in between the circles. Now back to Fierbach. 96-58. Tywo drives in, goes up strong. Couldn't finish. And a blocking foul will be called on Illinois State. The foul is on number and so that'll be the last possession for the Hawkeyes. Illinois State will get it one more time. Probably won't take a shot. They might, and that's fine if they do. Anna Kelly. 6'1 junior from Lincoln, Nebraska. The foul. Taiwo at the free throw line. She has 11 on four of five shooting. Career high is 14 against Illinois and also Minnesota. Taiwo's first. Perfect. And Tomi had a great game today. I mean, I think there was a lot of players, but I think Tomi and Marshall had that little addition today that I will kind of you're wanting them to do in the tournament time. Well, 26 points between them. <laughs> Both free throws good by Taiwo. 98-58. And that will do it as the Iowa Hawkeyes advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament with a 98-58 thrashing of the Illinois State Redbirds. 27 from Caitlin Clark, 18 from Monica Sonano, 13 apiece from Gabby Marshall and Tommy Taiwo. And they made that first round win. And will face the Creighton Blue Jays on Sunday after Creighton defeated Colorado in the first game today, 84 to 74. Creighton much better than Illinois State. Yes, yeah, definitely. We saw it today. We saw about the, well, you might have been here for the full game. Yeah, but I watched saw the it second all. Half yeah. And, uh, yeah, Creighton definitely has some skills. They have a little bit bigger of players. You can tell just a little bit more like what Iowa's used to in the Big Ten. But the Hawkeyes did some damage today and really played three and a half outstanding quarters and I think the real good news is Jamie that Iowa shot the ball so well just really proficient at the offensive end and then that 2-3 zone defense uh, really changed it the did. tone in the first quarter. It did change the tone right away. Like, Iowa wasn't going to let this become a game where they were going back and forth, back and forth. Right away, make the adjustments and go after it because you don't want to chance anything like that. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Wellmark, Blue Cross and Blue Shield for every made three for the Hawkeyes. And there were a bunch of them today, 12 out of 26 from three-point range. The Wellmark folks contribute to area health projects through the program. The Hawks have raised more than $170,000 courtesy of Wellmark. Now, the team needs your help selecting this season's winning community. Nominate your hometown at wellmark3pointplay.com or text Iowa, I-O-W-A, to 97063. 
Stay tuned for the postgame show as we will wrap up Iowa's first round tournament victory over Illinois State, 98 to 58. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal Housing Lender. Member FDIC. Every day you use energy to power your life, to wake up, to stay connected. Hi, this is John. Oh, hey. To feed your loved ones. Dinner! You don't even have to think about it, because at MidAmerican Energy, we do. We work hard to bring you energy you can count on every day, because the most important thing we put our energy into is you. We're MidAmerican Energy, and we're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Are you looking to downsize from your family home to begin your retirement years? Our Oak Knoll East campus is for you. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director at Oak Knoll. Our new campus has many unique amenities for your active lifestyle, in addition to providing the same great services that Oak Knoll has offered our residents for over 50 years. We're now open and have a few two-bedroom apartments still available. Call me at 319-351-1720 or visit oaknoll.com to set up your personal tour. Go Hawks! Hawks move on to round number two, the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament with a 98-58 victory over Illinois State and gave me a lot of good individual performances. And as you've talked about, we've talked about the third and fourth score, so crucial. And McKenna Warnock scored right. some early. We know she can. But then Gabby Marshall and Tomi Taiwo really uh, stepped up and both did it inside and out. They did. Both shot the ball very, very well from behind the arc. Right, and everyone was just kind of playing their roles really well, right? So that's what they were looking at today. Kate Martin, she can score, and we know that she has the capability. We saw it at the Big Ten Tournament. She wasn't really looking for a shot today, but I don't think she's not going to take it or do it. She's not going to force the issue of getting the points. But then you see McKenna Warnock didn't have the best shooting day. She was just one of five from the three-point line, but she was effective when she was in there. She was still taking shots. She's still looking for him. It's going to happen for her. We know McKenna Warnock can and will have a good game. Uh, but Addie O'Grady putting in such good minutes, seven points. Seven points is great uh, for her to come in and get those points, be so effective when she's in there. Just a full team effort, I think, is what you saw from the Hawkeyes. And did you need everyone to, you know, score that many points? No, but it looked like everyone cared and everyone wanted to be there and do well. How about some of the other individual yeah, numbers? so I'll jump into these stats. Iowa shot 60% as a team today, 46% for the three-point line. Four players in double figures, Clark 27. Uh, Sonano with 18, and she was perfect shooting. Six of six from the field and six of six from the free throw line. 13 from Marshall and 13 from Taiwo. However, a lot of other players helping out. Like I said, O'Grady with seven, seven from Warnock, five from Fulter, five from Martin, and three from Pierbach. 
Iowa shared the ball extremely well. 25 assists. 25 assists today. That is pretty impressive for the Hawkeyes. 10 of those coming from Caitlin Clark, 5 from Marshall, and 4 from Martin. For Illinois today, one player had, two players had double figures, 25 for Redmond, who just played the best she could, uh, did a great job leaving it on the court, 11 from Crompton, and then six from Wong, six from Wilson, and five from Bullman. They only shot 29% from the field today, and that is largely due to Iowa shifting that defense into a more effective zone. 17% uh, from the three-point three line, only had 10 assists for the game. Iowa just had an all-around, all of the components were there to have a really great game today. And the Hawks had one point, led by 41 points with 3.43 oh. left to go yeah. in the fourth. And one other fun stat I forget because it's not on the one screen I'm always looking at. The steals today. Iowa did a good job of being aggressive on the defensive end and getting into passing lanes. Three steals coming from Clark, three steals coming from Marshall, uh, getting 10 as a team, and then three blocks for Kate Martin. 10 steals and four block shots, as Jamie mentioned, and then 25 assists to just 11 turnovers. And then um, after Iowa led 21 to 15 after one, outscored the Redbirds 22 to 14 in the second, 31 to 18 in the third. That was uh, where it really was uh, blown open and then finished it off with 24 to 11 in the fourth. Clark with 27, Monica Sonano with 18 and seven rebounds. Clark did have a double-double with 27 and 10, six rebounds and 13 apiece for Gabby Marshall and Tommy Taiwo. Hawkeyes 33 of 55 from the floor, 60%, 12 of 26 from three, 46%, and just about perfect from the free throw line, 20 of 21 for 95.2%. Illinois State, 21 of 71, 29.6%. Six of 36 from three, 16.7%. This is a 35% three-point shooting team. And 10 of 13 from the free throw line, 76.9%. Abby Stamp, assistant coach, will join us after the break to discuss Iowa's first round tournament victory over Illinois State, 98 to 58. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. During the month of March, everyone seems to be Irish. Unfortunately, no one's luck is immune to the consequences of drunk driving. For too many Americans, St. Patrick's Day has ended in tragedy due to drunk drivers getting behind the wheel. You can't rely on a four-leaf clover to keep you safe. You have to make your own luck. Designate a sober driver. This message is brought to you by the Iowa Department of Public Safety, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, and your local law enforcement. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two mangoes. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. You know when your internet works, your life works. Living with unreliable internet or slow speeds is a hassle you can't afford. Hawk fans, don't settle for subpar service. Get extreme internet and transform your whole home. With Extreme powered by Mediacom, you can enjoy speeds from 60 meg up to an incredible 1 gig, intelligent whole home Wi-Fi, and unbeatable reliability. You want great internet at a great price? Give us a call at 844-4FASTER and talk to the Extreme Internet Pros today. Speeds may vary and a monthly data usage allowance applies. Welcome back inside Carver Hawkeye Arena. A sold out Carver Hawkeye as Iowa defeats Illinois State 
By the final score of 98 to 58, as promised, heavy stamp on the postgame show to talk about uh, the Hawkeyes advancing to take on the Creighton Blue Jays on Sunday. And Abby, this was uh, three and a half really good quarters of basketball, I thought, offensively. Uh, shots were dropping, and then that 2 3 zone uh, proved to be pretty effective as well. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, you know, in the postseason here, we've been really pretty impressed with our zone defense and, and how we've been, been able to run that in the uh, Big Ten tournament and then also today. Nice to be able to go to that um, just from a, uh, you know, stamina perspective. Also, you know, you're not having to chase around as many screens and do as much of that when you have to turn around and play uh, again on Sunday. So we're really confident in that zone, and it's a nice thing to have in our back pocket, you know, moving forward in this tournament. And especially because uh, Illinois State came out hot, uh, firing uh, from three-point range, and then uh, Redmond uh, started quickly, but then you're really able to shut down the uh, the three-point shooting of Illinois State, which they're pretty good at. Yeah, they are good at, and we knew that coming into the game, certainly, and obviously Mary Crompton coming back home, we knew she'd be fired up uh, to be able to play here in Carver Hawkeye Arena. So she got a couple off early, and then we switched uh, to that zone, and I think actually did a little better job identif identifying her out of the zone and, and making her take tough ones, making her put it on the floor, um, which was a good thing. You know, the, the negative in our zone, and, and uh, really saw it there in late in the fourth quarter, but we just did not box out the way that we need to to be able to play that zone, you know, uh, th throughout the rest of this tournament. So we're going to have to take a look at that and get that fixed up a little bit. Um, got to rebound better out of that zone. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, the offensive numbers before we went to break, 60% from the floor, 12 of 26 from three, just missed one free throw, 20 of 21. From an offensive perspective, uh, tough to lose with those numbers. Yeah, absolutely, especially in front of a sold-out crowd, which it doesn't ever get old saying, I, I got to say. But, uh, yeah, you know, I thought we executed pretty well on the offensive end. Um, early in the first half, thought we put up a few too many early threes. And, I mean, even if you look at this, Monica only got six shots. She was a perfect six for six. So there's um, some room there to be able to make sure that we're getting her the ball a little bit more. But then when you look at 25, you know, 33 field goals on 25 assists, uh, really thought we were moving the ball well, passing, finding open shooters, um, and that's what's going to create those high percentages over when you do that yeah what is it now with 10 steals and this is now a shot blocking team yeah yeah that's true we kate had man kate had that huge block whether i was in the second quarter i yeah, can't remember hear that all the way over here yeah definitely and addy has done a great job being a good rim protector for when she comes in the game caitlin actually has been able to get a few nice blocks out there too but i, I did think caitlin did a good job of that um you know offensively she didn't quite have her normal kind of swag i thought she was just you know dribbling around a little bit too much not getting by people and her three wasn't going down the way that she is capable of but i thought she did a really good job of making some things happen on the defensive end getting herself out there getting some steals uh leading to easy points for her offensively and still 10 assists 10 assists Caitlin yep double well. double so and then uh, 34 points in the paint and 23 points off turnover and then 28 bench points. How about uh, the effort from Tommy Taiwo? Yeah, Tommy came. I mean, Tommy has been shooting the ball just unbelievably well in practice. I mean, really all year, but this last week when we had some more time to get up and down a little bit, it's just incredible what she's been able to do from three point line practice. So uh, anytime she's on the floor, we want her to take any open look she gets. We have so much confidence in her out there. And then, yeah, to just see the whole bench, you know, Sydney come in and hit a three. Addie gave us some great minutes. Uh, AJ came in the game and, and did a good job too to see the whole bench go in and just, you know, kind of. Uh, leave us on a good note. Sometimes, you know, you go in with your bench and then you kind of leave it, but they, they left us feeling on a good note leading us into Sunday, which is a big thing. From the end of the Big Ten tournament uh, to today's game, obviously some time off, but how did you use that time with, uh, you know, here you play all the games that that we did, you guys did, coming down the stretch. Seemed like uh, we were on an NBA schedule. Yeah. And then to have the time off, and as we've talked about, it's almost like starting a new season, but uh, you practice pretty hard. Uh, work yeah. on individual stuff how did you react well to that? you know it was we we took a couple days off certainly which was much needed like you said that stretch uh, really just after Christmas we just didn't have really a stretch of having two days in a row off so that was that was good for our players to have a little bit of that and then yeah we spent some time really just working on ourselves you know obviously you don't have any scouting or anything like that to do and you don't get to do much of that once you hit the Big Ten season um, tried to get up and down as much as we could you know tried to have officials in here and and simulate a game but I think you could see a little bit of that to start today too it's just it's hard to create a game um, atmosphere environment. Um, you can see, I thought we looked a little winded to get the game started today, and that's that's just. Um, I think all of us, you know, Big Ten coaches, would take that little bit of extra rest for, versus having to rush right into it. Um, but you do have to, you know, kind of offset it a little bit and know that you might have a little bit of rust uh, when you come out and start this first game. And Coach Bluter mentioned that on the pregame show. That, yeah. that first five minutes, it might take us a little while to get into it. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think our team has done a team and staff has done a really good job with that all year long. You know, you can't go into every game expecting that you're gonna, you know, 
hit right away, run away with it right from the start. You got to go in and you got to be just ready to, you know, one punch after another. Every possession matters and stick to that possession. I think we have done a good job of that. And I think you saw that today. We didn't get antsy or tight. You know, I think that can happen sometimes when you're expected to win big and you're maybe hanging with them, you know, 21 to 15 at the end of the first quarter. It wasn't any big deal to us. Just kind of keep doing what we're doing and moving on and, and then come away with a big victory. And third quarter is just to continue uh, to go the Hawks way. 31 to 18. It really blew it open then. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think coming out of the half, you know, I think we had uh, a couple good adjustments, some things we wanted to do. And then I think a big key for us, uh, you know, uh, Redmond and Crompton were doing all the scoring. So we went to our triangle and two defense, really tried to keep the ball out of their hands. Um, and that and that was a, a good adjustment and a good thing for us defensively. Just made other people take shots. Um, then, you know, more missed shots leads to more run out breaks for us, which was a really efficient offense for us today. Well, as you expect, when you move on in a tournament, uh, the competition gets a little stiffer on Sunday. Yeah, definitely. Creighton is a good team, very good team, good offensive team. It's going to be a high score and shootout in here. It should be a lot of fun. Um, team we know really well, respect uh, them and their staff. Certainly Lauren Jensen coming back into Carver. Um, she's had a great season. So uh, just, yeah, it's going to be a big matchup and we're excited to be playing. 32 teams left, but not, not quite yet. I guess there's but there will two. be. Yeah, there will be when it comes <laughs> Sunday. So It happens quick. And Abby, uh, great job and uh, appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Thanks, everybody. Abby Stamp, assistant coach for the Hawks. Does an outstanding job and uh, works with the guards and certainly pleased with um, how Iowa played tonight. 98 to 58, the Hawkeyes by 40 over Illinois State. We'll head to the Iowa locker room. Also, um, Take a listen in on our top plays of the game as the postgame show continues from Carver Hawkeye Arena. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from their field. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer here. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagels. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Anything can happen when the Cyclones and Hawkeyes come to compete. It's where the rubber meets the road. Neighbors become rivals and friends become foes. Some go home brokenhearted, while others are victorious. When the dust finally settles, one thing stands true. No matter which side you're on, you're part of tradition for those who are Iowan through and through. We're Iowa Corn, a proud sponsor of the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. You don't have to go to the game to get a game program. You can download it now by visiting the game day page on HawkeyeSports.com. That's right. The game program is now digital and it's free. So check it out. Get the roster, the stats, and fascinating stories about today's matchup. Just go to HawkeyeSports.com and click on game day. Nikki Dolenz of the Monkees. Oh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Is bringing his concert series. Nikki Dolenz celebrates the Monkees to Riverside Casino on April 15th. Celebrating over 50 years of music with hits like I'm a Believer. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. To last train to Clarksville. Take Tickets are on sale now at RiversideCasinoAndResort.com. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. Today's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Hawkeye Radio Network is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless with a nationwide network built from your town up. Hawks with big quarters, number three and number four. Outscoring the Redbirds 31 to 18 in the third, 24 to 11 in the fourth. Win it, going away 98 to 58 with four players in double figures, including Gabby Marshall with 13. Four out of seven from the floor, three of six from three point range, and two out of two from the free throw line. And how about this? Five assists 
no turns, and three steals. Let's head to the Iowa locker room. Coach Bluter up first with Jamie and then Gabby Marshall. Thanks, Rob, and I'm here with Coach Bluter in a winning locker room. Very joyous, but I'm okay with this noise in the background. Aren't you? <laughs> I, I am. You know, happy locker room. It's always good to get that first one in the NCAA tournament. And, you know, I thought we, we shot the ball really well today from all three areas. And um, really happy and almost scoring 100 points out here, holding them below their numbers defensively in all areas. Points scored, field goal, three point. Um, you know, Mary Crompton was doing a great job in the first quarter. After that, she got one more back, but bucket in the second quarter and then was scoreless the rest of the time. So I was really happy with our defensive effort there and our crowd. Let's talk about our crowd. <laughs> they were amazing. So, so thankful for all those Hawk fans that came out today and we hope to see you on Sunday. Let's break an NCAA record. Uh, so right away today, they came out kind of hot those first five minutes, but we saw a shift into your, your defense mostly for the most part. Uh, talk about that shift in the defense in the first quarter. Yeah, we went to play in some zone, um, and it was really good for us, and our zone was good for us in the uh, Big Ten tournament too. So it's nice because beginning of the year, our zone wasn't very good, but now we're kind of coming to count on it. And today you had four players in double figures, one person with a double-double, but you had 25 assists as a team. Uh, and only 11 turnovers, too. 25 assists on 11 turnovers. 25 assists on 33 baskets. So almost every basket was assisted, which I love. How about that team play today? Like, what were some of your highlights? Anything that you took away from the game? I mean, obviously, just everybody, like you say, four people in double figures um, and shooting the ball very well, not turning the ball over. Um, I love that. Um, you know, Caitlin has her 16th double-double of the year. Monica doesn't miss a shot. She's perfect from the field, perfect from the free throw line has seven rebounds, only plays 22 minutes, and has 18 points. So it's nice to give our players a little bit of rest. Uh, we could go to our bench, and our bench, you know, outscored them 28 to 5. So really nice to be able to go to our bench and get some rest for that game on Sunday. So the game on Sunday, we know it's against Creighton. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we know a time yet, but uh, what do you know about Creighton thus far? Well, you know, Creighton's a predominantly player-to-player -player defensive team like we saw today. Um, they do throw some doubles at the post, which we've seen during the year, and we'll be ready for that. It's ironic because every year we scrimmage Creighton out here on this floor in the closed scrimmage. So Creighton's pretty comfortable coming here and playing because they do it every single year. Uh, and then getting the win today over Colorado, I'm sure, gives them a lot of confidence. But they can shoot the ball. They can really shoot the ball. We shot the ball well. It could be a high-flying scoring affair on Sunday. Watch out. So people should definitely be here for this bar possible barn burner. Definitely. I, I think they should be. And again, you know, why not? Let's go try to break an NCAA attendance record. Hawkeye fans, you're amazing. Come back on Sunday. We can really use you. Help us to get to the Sweet 16. All right. Thanks, Coach, and congrats on the win. Thank you. Okay, how about that shooting today? How'd you feel? Well, it's nice seeing some go down because I struggled during the Big Ten tournament. So it's just nice seeing a couple that fall down today and just to help my team out in that way. Gabby, what's it feel like playing at home in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, um, we were supposed to host, I think, my freshman year, and then it got canceled. So this is the first time that I've experienced something like this. And it's just crazy to walk into Carver when it's sold out. Like, it's so loud. It's just a feeling like no other, honestly. How did you feel with your team today going into the game after a couple of weeks break? Yeah, I think the week, the break was good, um, needed physically and mentally, but I think we've been going hard in practice the days that we did practice, so and just preparing for one game at a time and just that's just our mentality throughout this whole tournament. And then what do you have to say to those fans to try to get them and make sure they come out, they come and sell out Carver on Sunday? I mean, I don't even know if, if I have to say much, like they've been doing it on, the, on their own, but we love your support and your energy means so much to us. So we would just appreciate it if you guys c come tomorrow or Sunday and just keep supporting us throughout the way. All right. Thanks, Gabby. Yep, no problem. Jamie, thank you very much, and thanks to Coach Bluter and also Gabby Marshall, and Sunday will be the last uh, game inside Carver Hawkeye Arena for this season as uh, this is the Greensboro region and the Sweet 16 would take place in Greensboro, North Carolina, which I was familiar with there um, back in 2019 when they went to uh, the Elite Eight. And you mentioned Creighton. Remember out in L.A., I believe the, the 2018 right. NCAA tournament and it was a first round 10-7 matchup and 
Creighton yeah. defeated the Hawkeyes at Pauley Pavilion. Yep, that was, I think that was a hard one. That was a hard one for the Hawkeyes. I, it was a hard one to be there and watch and just what didn't go the way for the Hawkeyes. And then uh, the big difference here, I think, is Iowa's a very different team. I think Creighton is too. Creighton's a high caliber team, but Iowa knows them very well too, right? It's a wit, it's, yes, Creighton knows Iowa really well, but Iowa knows Creighton really well. And they are friends and that makes it hard when you go up against your friends. But I think that Iowa is a team that, They've kind of started to figure that out. Clark has been doing this her whole life. Her teammates are her friends, but she's never going to back down on them uh, when she goes up against them. Creighton defeated Colorado 84-74 to to advance. The Hawks take care of Illinois State 98-58. to And Coach Booter talked about trying to sell out um, Sunday's game, <laughs> and Jamie's got uh, There's not the many seating tickets chart left. pulled up, and it looks like, what, mostly just uh, singles scattered yeah, throughout mostly, the arena? Yeah, mostly singles. So if you are someone who's listening and wants to go, I think you might be able to still sign up for, like, a list because there will probably be what kind Release of happens. Release tickets, yep, yeah. Tickets will get released from, like, Colorado because Colorado probably had some held and things. So people can give back their tickets, and then they can get sold that way. So I would be watching for that um, or let people know. Uh, exactly what's going on. Yeah, so stay tuned. Iowa and Creighton sometime on Sunday. Probably won't know until very late tonight uh, for sure by tomorrow morning. 98-58, the Hawks over the Redbirds. We'll be back to listen in on some of uh, the highlights from today's game and wrap things up from Carver Hawkeye Arena after the break. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Iowa, we grow corn, a lot of corn. We love seeing our farmers in the fields, and although they're perfect strangers, we know them. We know them by their equipment covered in dust. We know them by their work ethic, where days off don't exist. We know them by the way they wave, passing strangers alike on a two-lane road. We know them in the midst of our kitchen as we prepare another family meal. In Iowa, we grow corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. The Iowa corn farmers are proud to be on the sidelines for the Iowa Hawkeyes. At MidAmerican Energy, being obsessively, relentlessly at your service means delivering reliable, affordable energy to you. And it also means marking underground utility lines before you break ground to keep you safe. Trimming trees to keep them away from electric lines so power is there when you need it. And it means working safely and quickly to power your home and business, no matter what the weather. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. That's MidAmerican Energy. The next time you visit Eastern Iowa, check out the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Closterman Construction, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, and Bachmeyer Carpet One, Floor and Home, home of the beautiful guarantee. Bachmeyer Carpet One is proud to support the Hawkeyes. If you're looking to remodel, build a new home, or just redo a room, we are your flooring store. Outstanding design and sales staff with the knowledge to guide you in a friendly, stress-free atmosphere. Bachmeyer Carpet One. Come visit us. College sports fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. Hawks led by 41 at the 3.43 mark of the fourth quarter. Win it 98-58 to over Illinois State. Advance to the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship on uh, Sunday, Iowa and Creighton. Let's listen in on some of tonight's action. Here's Compton, has this three-pointer blocked by Warnock, but into the hands of Wilson. Tries to get a pass out to the top of the key, picked off by, guess who? Caitlin Clark, there's another right-handed layup. Just Gets it ahead to Caitlin Clark, right side, McKenna Warnock, yeah. out it, three-pointer. Oh. Dribble penetration into the paint, spins, now back out, free-throw line extended right, Sonano with a screen, and gets the ball to Clark. Whips a pass inside, Sonano goes up strong, Ow. kisses it off the glass, out it, and she's fouled. I mean Here's Kate Martin with some freedom and drills yeah. the three-pointer from the left wing right there in front of the Iowa she bench. Is. There's Kate Martin with that three-point shot. And O'Grady gets it out to Caitlin Clark. 
Drives paint. Scoop oh shot is up God. and good. Split two defenders. That was ridiculously good. One second along the baseline. La Pass O'Grady shot. Got it. Beautiful. That's all you needed was one second. Beautiful. It'll be Iowa and Creighton on Sunday as a Fulter wow. drills a three from the left wing. You gotta love her smile after she hit that three. Everybody's hitting threes. Everyone is. Who isn't hitting a three? And that will do it as the Iowa Hawkeyes advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament with a 98 to 58 thrashing of the Illinois State Redbirds. And that is victory number 24 for Lisa Bluter's team at 24 and 7. And the Hawkeyes now eight wins in a row. The last time Iowa lost was Valentine's Day on February the 14th against Maryland. Since then, it's been all W's. And it was another W today, 98 to 58 over Illinois State. And, uh, Jamie, this is exactly what we talked about in the pregame show. This is what you wanted. Thought maybe, right. okay, just get up and down a few times. Uh, Illinois State will come out and certainly be ready to go. They were. Shot the ball very well in the first uh, four minutes of the game. And then um, Iowa's strength uh, mm -hmm. at both ends really kind of took over and uh, cruised home in the third and fourth quarter after that outstanding start of quarter number three. Right. I think this is just how the games go for Iowa. And I think they've just figured out you just got to keep weathering it, right? You have to keep going and have that that mentality that you are going to be the one who comes out on top, though, in the end, right? We're going to keep fighting. We'll fight with you as long as you're going to fight. But ultimately, we're going to win this. And you can tell that that's kind of their mentality right now. And that was how they won the Big Ten tournament. And did it in uh style where Iowa played outstanding at uh, both ends of the court and Coach Bluter and Abby also talked about that 2-3 defense and the triangle and two when you had uh, two big scores in uh, Juju Redman and also Mary Crompton both ended up in double figures Redman with 25 Crompton with 11 as Caitlin Clark paces the Hawkeyes with 27 and also had 10 assists 18 for perfect Monica Sonano today. Six out of six from the floor. Six out of six from the free throw line. Also contributed seven rebounds and then 13 apiece for Gabby Marshall and Tomi Taiwo. Taiwo just won off of her uh, career high of 14. She's done it a couple of times. Well, Iowa and the Creighton Blue Jays on Sunday. We'll see you then. Yeah. Can I? Oh, one more thing I want to tell you to this crowd. If you're listening, you were at the game today. So I was talking to um, one of the announcers for the for ESPN afterwards, and she was a former coach for Illinois State. And I said, we were joking around. And I said, I don't know that you were probably that unbiased today, <laughs> but. Um, she said she said she was so excited to come and do this game. And she goes, you know, obviously the basketball is great, but she's like, this is the environment to be in. And Carver is like nothing else for women's basketball right now. There is nothing comparable to playing at Carver Hockey Arena. So uh, I would totally agree. But it's inter it's nice to hear that from someone else who's coming from a different perspective, who's not a Hawkeye fan. Just talk about what it's like to play here right now with it's just a different energy for women's basketball than anything else that anyone's experiencing. Yeah, I mean, you feel it outside before you come into the arena. <laughs> you do feel it outside, and then, right. And then when Iowa takes the court, uh, you know this is going to be a pretty special day, and it certainly was. Yes. 98-58, the Hawkeyes over Illinois State and advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament on Sunday. Iowa and Creighton will find out uh, by tomorrow morning what time. But... Whatever time it is, you plan to join us on <laughs> Sunday. We'll be, I'll be here. there. Yep, be there no matter what. Be, uh, what'd you say, ready and raring to go? Ready right? and raring. Ready and raring. That's what they say. <laughs> and we'll do it again on Sunday, Iowa and the Creighton Blue Jays. Appreciate everybody listening on the Hawkeye Radio Network, the Varsity app, uh, YouTube channel, whichever way you found us. Uh, we certainly appreciate it, not only today, but all season long. The final score, once again, from Carver Hawkeye Arena, 98 to 58 Iowa over Illinois State. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Hawkeye Women's Basketball has been brought to you by 
Bud Light. It's for the fans. hy V, the official grocer partner of Iowa Hawkeyes basketball. hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. The Iowa Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, who reminds you to click it or tick it, day or night. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank, life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank, member FDIC. Iowa Lottery. Put a little play in your day with the Iowa Lottery. And by Authentic Brand. Look authentic, feel authentic, be authentic. Get your game day gear online at Authentic-Brand.com. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network. Iowa, we grow corn, a lot of corn. We love seeing our... This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Iowa, we grow corn, a lot of corn. We love seeing our farmers in the fields, and although they're perfect strangers, we know them. We know them by their equipment covered in dust. We know them by their work ethic, where days off don't exist. We know them by the way they wave, passing strangers alike on a two-lane road. We know them in the midst of our kitchen as we prepare another family meal. In Iowa, we grow corn. 